Alright, hello and welcome back everyone! Oh my goodness, it's been a little over two weeks. Between being out of town and being sick, we haven't done a proper stream in way too long. How are you all doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you're doing well. We've been raided. I had to jump on in between to make sure that all of our stuff didn't decay. We were raided. Don't worry about it. We have a plan. We've got a plan. How are you all doing? How's it going, Constantinus? How's it going, Green? How are you doing, Balinor? How's it going, Dalka? Welcome back to the game. How are you all doing today? <laughs> hey, Apnea, how are you doing? <laughs> How's it going, Apnea? Good to see you. Uh, so we are raided, but funnily enough, the person who raided us has also been raided. <laughs> so we can't get our stuff back from them. Darn. All of our thralls are gone, all of our stuff is gone, but the wall is still here. And for some reason they didn't raid the um the treasury, so we, st we can still start a purge whenever we want to. <laughs> I'm glad we left these doors open so they didn't break this down. Right? Oh nice. Nice. That's awesome. Alright, getting some hackers out of here. Here's who they were. Oh no, Delica, you're sick and dying? Oh, I've already been there. I know how that feels. I hope you feel better, man. Oh, but that sucks. These get better soon. Alright, so we need to go and get ourselves some basic tools. We gotta get up and running. Yeah, get out of here, hackers. But yeah, look, they, they... Look at all of the... Look at all of these vaults they put down to go raid us. They probably needed two of them. And we did a lot of efficiency cleaning up our all of our stuff, so they... They didn't need that many, but they need at least two of them. Or without end. They can loot lock chests. There we go. <laughs> Uh, why do you need vaults to raid? Vaults can hold an obscene amount of items in them. So you place down a vault kind of anywhere, and they take 12, 15 explosive jars to break into. So it's a really solid thing to store your stuff. Yeah. The pull resolve itself? Yes. Yes, the pull is closed. We will be playing Pirates after we finish playing Conan Exiles. I want to play Conan. We didn't get the chance to... There's stuff we want to get done. We can't leave this where it's at. We can't leave this at us just getting raided and calling it done. We need to jump back in there. But we are going to be playing Pirates. No? How's it going, Straw? How are you doing today? Why does Fable keep falling? failing? I don't know. How close did Fable get? I think it was like 8 points, 10 points off. You can quit anytime you want to? Yeah, I can quit anytime I want to. Alright, so now we're down here. I'm trying to remember... I don't think they're... When I was scooting around before, I was trying to see where the nearest sticks are, so we, or branches are, so we can actually start building tools, and there are, like, none. There are, like, no branches anywhere. I don't I don't know why there are just no branches around here, but... There you go. There's rocks over here, so we can at least get started. I think there's sticks on this island. I feel like there should be, because we've had to restart on this island before. Let's we'll grab some, some rocks so we can build some basic tools. Uh, once Ah, there's sticks. Branches, perfect, alright. So now that we can go ahead and actually start... Well, we need, we need another... There we go. A couple here. Now we can build some tools. Now that we can build some tools... And bam, we can get ourselves started. So what I want to do is get our... Uh, I want to get like in a factory assembly line kind of thing going. I want to... We're going to go big, green. Green, we're going big. We're going big. Just ask for tools in game chant. You can get hooked up for sure. Oh yeah, but I'd like to go and build it up myself. But we're going to go... Fa we're going to go big, green. Green, we're going big. We're going to have like... I'm thinking five of each station... Building out what we need. What's Pirates? Sid Meier's Pirates is what we're going to be playing. How's it going, Nurse Fuzzy Wuzzy? Welcome back. How are you doing today? Hello, hello. But yeah, because we, we need to get things, like, processing fast here. We need to get better about this. 
Uh, no, no, we got raided. We got raided, Fuzzy Wuzzy. I mean, which is to be expected. We were offline for two weeks, you know? Uh, I did jump online uh, once in between just to make sure that our decay timer of 10 days didn't have all of our stuff just vanish. But we haven't played actively in 10 days. So I'm, I'm not there uh, in two weeks, 14-ish, 16-ish days. So I'm not too surprised. I am feeling better. I don't know if I can continue to talk like I normally do, like I am right now. We might have to get a little quieter a little later in the stream. Because I still do have a little tickle in my throat, which ends up making me cough from time to time. So we'll see about that. I'm going to stay super hydrated. I've got three drinks next to me. I am ready to go. Hydrate? Exactly. That's right, Straw. <laughs> That's right. Sid Meier's Pirates is good. I'm excited to play Sid Meier's Pirates. I've not played it in so long. I have not played it in. Remind over a yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious <laughs> killer. I'll be careful. I'll try my best. But uh, I have played it on the PC before, and it didn't really work because I didn't have a gamepad and the the dancing thing you just can't do because you only have you don't have uh, you only have up, down, left, and right. You don't have top left, top right, bottom left, and bottom right as options. So it makes life hard. So we'll be able to do that. Ow. Tough part here is we're like fully corrupted because we were in a corruption follower build. This is going to be kind of awkward. We're not exactly what I would say designed for this. All right, Mr. Rhino. Back off. Get, get out of here, mister. All right. Uh, let's see. What do I need for... I need some twine. I need to start building some stuff. It's gonna be dark over here, so we can get ourselves a torch. See what we can do. Ow. Thought he was done following us. All right, let's, let's jump back up here, Mister. You stop that. Luckily, some of our stations are still here, so we can reuse these, which is great. We're also gonna just completely deconstruct this building. Because we wanted to remove this anyway, I'm thinking we build our workshop over on that little outcropping there, and that leaves all of this space for the purge to... Well, not really over there anymore, <laughs> but it, it generally leaves this space here for it to appear right in front of the... right in front of the gates, so that'll work. But yeah. Question is, do you have ginger and honey at your house? I have honey sticks for tea, but I accidentally decided to make black tea today for stream so it's not exactly the right <laughs> whoops not exactly the right tea to put honey in uh but if we do take a quick break i can go ahead and uh set up a second batch of tea and make some jasmine tea and get some honey in there so i've gotten what i need i just wasn't thinking earlier <laughs> all right let's go ahead and let's get ourselves some weapons Go with the axe for now, because it's a basic weapon. We can use this guy. Bam. Nah, I'm not lactose intolerant. I can I can drink all the milk I want and eat all the cheese. It's amazing. You have honey sticks um, open. Mm, salt of tea is an act of throat coat syrup. Yeah, exactly. All right, I used it all. In my bed. Need a little more. Yeah, so what I want to do, we're going to probably have to just go and murder all the animals around here real quick, just so that we're not going to be constantly knocked over, because, unfortunately, the animals in this region here are, um, very rude. All of the creatures here, they, they knock you over. Not a single one of them just hits you. You've got panthers, which I guess this one doesn't spawn because of where all of those vaults are, and the rhinos will run you over. So... I was going to need to knock... Oh my good gracious, this weapon does no damage! <laughs> Alright. Maybe... Maybe... Maybe we make ourselves some better weapons first. Ignore me, Panthers. You see nothing. Alright, we're going to we're gonna need some better weapons. Alright, let's go ahead and let's at least get an iron weapon and tools going. We still have our furnace there, so we can go ahead and just grab that and chuck him in and get him rolling. We can just, like, give them some adult supervision. We don't have to actually close up the base at the moment. Just keep an eye on them. Gotta love it when it makes us... Wait, that's new. 
Gotta love it when it makes a squelching noise when you hit the ground, but you take no damage. This is a cute base. Who's this? I'd be friends with whoever's building this not entirely just square box base. They actually have a courtyard and whatnot. Who is this? Gore. Oh, wait, they're online. Wait a second. <laughs> Whoever this is is online right now. Right? No? I could have sworn they were online right before we went live. I could have sworn they were online. Hold on. We need to go and make ourselves a, a hammer. Hold on. Let's build a quick hammer here. I'm pretty sure this guy was, like, literally online. Or not. They were online four hours ago. I did not... I checked 20 minutes... Or 30 minutes ago. I don't know why I thought they were online. Or maybe this is just a base I'm not using anymore, and I saw them online. Let's take a peek through the walls. See what we got here. Nah, let me let me go ahead and rebuild from scratch here, Green. I need to learn my lesson, right? And I need to learn how to, how to go big old factory mode. Yeah, it looks like this is just a basic base. But hey, you know it's a it's a cute looking design. I can get behind being friends with someone like that. Onion fresh cucumbers from the garden is good. Oh. I don't eat a lot of cucumber. I mostly eat pickles when it comes to cucumbers. I eat pickled cucumbers. So much cucumbers. I'm a big fan of pickles. If you have powdered ginger, I don't... No, I don't. I don't have any ginger. I don't have any ginger in the house. You'd advise mixing some powdered ginger in with the honey. And the spiced ginger acts as an analogic. And wait. Analgesic. So it numbs, and then the honey protects. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and I'd have to go grab some. Hey, how's it going, Spexers? Thank you so much for the reset. I really appreciate that. And Green, thank you for the bits earlier. I appreciate that. Thank you. Let's see if we could, Where... Was it on the other side of this rock? Can't quite recall. It's been two weeks. I think it's over here is where the... No? Is this where the iron is? Where's the iron? I need it. This is all stone. It's gotta be on the other side of this thing. Yeah, it's over here. Okay. Alright, I remember. We get a whole batch of iron. Uh, we are in an encumbrance build, correct? Let's just make sure I'm not wrong on that. Okay, we are. <laughs> Thank goodness. It's gonna be really hard to rebuild. We're already dealing with low stamina, low health, so run. It's two of them. It's like a two-headed crocodile for a second there. <laughs> uh, but it's already going to be hard enough with the low health and low stamina. If we didn't have encumbrance, this would be even harder. It would be right around this corner. I think. Oh, please. Come on now. Don't tell me I'm wrong. Oof. I don't like being wrong. At least not when it's something like this where we're running and we're going so slowly. How could that be? I must have gone past it. Hmm. You're doing decent? Excellent. Good to hear. I am doing significantly better, Sexter. My voice is back. I have it again. Unless someone, like, grabbed all of it. Yeah, it's supposed to be right here. I think there's someone in the area. Yeah, no, that's a that's hundred percent where it's supposed to be. I'm absolutely confident that's where the iron's supposed to be. Alright, we'll go up here and grab this iron. A little further away, a little inconvenient. We'll grab it. That's fine. Uh, but that does mean someone's nearby. It might be Gore. The furnace was on when we poked our head through their wall. Uh, the other option we have is we could always go to the uh, the good old peninsula and just grab everything from there, you know. You have a coffee shop down the hill from you, and the owner has beehives. Oh my goodness! So, um, so the bottles of his raw honey all the time. You have one that you add ginger to. You just get start, um, and when you just start getting sick. Mix it with fresh lemons and limes. That sounds really good. Mix some like homemade cough syrup. That sounds really good. 
Okay, let's make sure I'm going the right way. There it is. Who's this? There's the iron. It's on the wrong shore, but... I meant to go over there to that. Right there. We'll go grab that too. But who's this? They, they are online. Looks like it's just one person. They're online, and it's a cool little tree house setup. Oh my goodness, jeez. It's a cool little setup, but there's like no nothing here. Actually, are they here right now? No, they haven't been here in a long time, but they are online. So they're in the region. Oh, that guy's base is still up there. It hasn't decayed. Hmm, I wonder why. Maybe someone else went in there and started blowing some stuff up. All right. Let's hurry up and let's grab all this iron and get back home. Get this stuff smelting. Get ourselves some iron tools. Iron weapons. We'll clear out the animals. We'll clear out the landscape. Right? We'll clear out the landscape. We can actually um, build. We'll build a, a good old brick house. It's a good old square. We're not going to do anything special. We're not going to make it look fancy. We're just going to get the job done. It's going to be like... I'm thinking maybe like a... I mean, we could go crazy and make a 10 by 10 square. Just a, just a disgusting square. Smack dab outside our base. Slam a whole bunch of stations in there to get crafting. And then we can go run off to... Kind of pick up some better gear. Instead of having to craft it. Like, what we could do is, if we get ourselves some, like, warming gear. And we get a stove built. Which takes a little bit of iron reinforcements and brick. Not that much. What we could do is we could go ahead and run back up to the ice temple and get a whole bunch of the ice gear. Get an ice pick. Get nice hatchets. Try and go for those. The other thing we could try and do is actually get... Actually, we just need to kill one of these snakes, don't we? If we can kill one of those snakes, we can get one demon blood. We could then go ahead and grab... We'd have to run to Hanuman's Grotto to get some crystal... Brimstone, we'd have to go... Well, yeah, we'd have to run a little bit here and there. But we could go and just grab all the materials we need and make one explosive powder. Go and try and pick up some... We, we could try and just go pick up all the stuff we need for Star Metal. We do a Star Metal run. Yeah, 10 by 10 by 10 is essentially what I'm thinking. Well, I don't know if I'm going to go 10 tall. That seems a little ridiculous. We might only go, like, 4 tall. It'd be 10 by 10 by 4. Ten tall seems a little ridiculous. I don't think I need that much space. We'll see. We'll see as we start. We'll start with a ten by ten, and we'll see how high we have to go. We got a little crystal out of that. Yeah, so we can do an iron run over here. It still gives us plenty of iron. More so than we're going to need for a while. It's going to take quite some time, even if we have ten smelters running. Actually, no, I take that back. Since we're using such a, a paltry tool... We didn't get that much. Let's head back home. We'll sort it out from there. Just need to get some iron tools going. <laughs> Boy, you need to visit Texas? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> you don't understand the meaning of Lodge Factory. <clears throat> you don't understand the meaning of Lodge Factory. So you come over here to Texas and you see how big it is. I imagine you guys have ones that are like scraping the ceiling. That's the sky. Little sky factories. Okay, so we're not even that encumbrance here. That seems fine. We're definitely going to need more wood. Although, if we just make this out of sandstone... I think we'll just make this out of sandstone. It doesn't need to be pretty. We don't need to make it out of flotsam. There's just as much stone as there is wood in the vicinity. You can go ahead and do that. You do drive by a Gigatex Tesla uh, factory regularly? Oh my goodness. Those things are just ridiculously huge, aren't they? With the Gigafactories, those things are like massive. Never seen one of those. But apparently, like, it takes all day to walk around it. Like, if you walk the perimeter, right? It, like, takes literally all day. It's getting built up even more. Oh my good gracious. <laughs> it's like a mini city, right? Alright. 
Let's go ahead and start smelting. But yeah, we have all these guys already here, and we'll clean this up, make it look prettier, and have it actually go all the way down. Because again, this isn't supposed to stop players from getting in. They can just climb in whenever they want. It's, it's not designed to stop. Hello? Did you eat your friend? What happened? What happened over here? It's going to be one mile by one mile. That is terrifyingly huge. Oh, the smelter was broken. <laughs> I thought it was still here. All right, that's fine. We'll just put the... Oh. Put the smelter up here. Ah. We need more twine. More twine is required. I cannot wait to get this up and running. Again, we have the bar. The bar is still there. So I'm very happy that we still have the bar. So we just need to do enough purges to get a barkeeper and we'll be good to go. Oh my goodness. Yeah, cough's still here. But I want to keep talking. All right. Go ahead and grab ourselves. That's yeah, right, alphabetical order now. It's not at the top anymore. It's furnaces. Just get three for now. Go. Get you started. There you go. Get you started. And there you go. Get you started. Okay. That'll get 600. We'll be good to go from there. Goodness. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, there's not much we can do until we have better weapons. Because this guy's just going to keep shoving his face and his butt in our buildings. Which is no good. He needs to butt out. Literally speaking. Let's just go ahead and continue to knock down some trees and light while we're waiting. Yeah, once we have iron tools, then we can go think about doing a brimstone run. But I don't want to do a brimstone run until we've done another iron run. So what we'll do is we'll get our tools. We'll build our factory. We'll get all of our tier 1s. Um, stations, crafting stations up. And then we're going to run over to the peninsula, do an iron run from there. Maybe see if we can get some tools or something off of them as well. They might have better weapons or something for us. I don't know. Sometimes they drop steel tools and steel weapons. We'll go ahead and do that. And then... I guess I'm standing over here. I'm tempted to build the factory over here. But this is where we've gotten the purge to spawn before, even with our little square factory in the front, so I don't really want to put it here, but I also like the idea of putting it here. Also, that guy's structure's gone now. I don't really have the stamina to go up and check. Oh, having no stamina sucks. We need to get the sorcery stuff back up and online. We just need a little crystal, really. That's all we need. All these bugs. Fill up our belly here. There we go. All right, we've got 30, so that is enough. Actually, we don't even need 30 because we have a tier two blacksmith over here. Uh, branches, well, that's a tannery. You're not supposed to be here. You, you, and you. Uh, let's see, pickaxe, more important. We need the pickaxe first. Pickaxe is most important, that gets us more iron. How's it going, House Targaryen? Long time no see. How have you been? Hopefully you're doing well. All these bugs just completely fill our belly. Oh my goodness, they're so crunchy. Gross. We'll get a proper meal here in a minute. We don't even have a, a stove or anything to use. What do we got there? Okay. All right. Done. Back on the ground. Uh, eight... This is our 22. This is our hatchet. Alright. And then the last thing is to get a weapon, but we can pick that up a little later. We could, you know what? Ah, oh, we don't have any blood crystal. I was going to say, you know what? We can make one of these, but we can't. We don't have the blood crystal for it. Right, we'll go ahead and we'll make this guy. I like the Terranian axe. It's awesome. I'll let those burn for a uh, smidgen. And I'll just go and knock down stuff over here. Let's flatten the terrain. Been well. Just quit playing Conan, finally, and now uh, full-time on New World. Oh my goodness, uh, I remember when New World was like a big thing. Is it any good? I remember people saying that it was like declining in quality. 
but I never played it. Conan, honestly, I think is a good game for like to play in cycles because of the way they have the ages. It's good to like jump in, play a bit, then jump out and wait for new content. And sometimes I can see the reason to like skip some chapters. Just wait until their chapters come around. It's pretty fun for someone who is zero to a thousand hours. Nice. I think they're still dropping content for that, right? And that game doesn't even have a subscription file. Rare these days. Alright, let's go ahead and build this thing out. How much can I do? What can we get done? Sandstone? Oh my goodness, we need a lot more. Hello awesome. there. About the same. About the same on this. How's it going, Laser Off? How are you doing today? Good to see you. Welcome back. Uh, let's go and just slam this here. Again, oh my goodness, hello? <laughs> when are we climbing? Again, it doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be functional. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. How far are we gone? I stopped counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect! Oh, it's a perfect. Perfect square. As perfectly square as can be. Alright, stone. Let's get up and go. Enjoying life at the moment? Excellent. <laughs> How's it going, Dark? How are you doing? You're doing well. Oh, look at little baby rhinos! We got two little baby rhinos over here. Hello, guys. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna pick up all the rocks. Alright. Uh, you're done with, uh, pay-to-win MMO games? Well, yeah, I understand that. What official am I on? I- it's a secret. A secret house Targaryen. We don't want to flood the server. This is a secret. As per usual. New World sounds like a job to you. I understand that. A lot of MMOs are though, right? They've got like daily quests and like stuff that you like. Because you know, they, they need you if I mean actually New World's a little different because it's not subscription, but like subscription-based games, or I guess even ones that do like that rely on microtransactions. The more they get you to play the game, the longer they have you online playing the game, the more money they end up making, right? So having things that make you come back literally every day, because if you don't, you miss out on something, is like part of the model. So it, yeah, it can definitely feel like like chores. All right, I'm back from work, done with working a long eight hour shift, a long 10 hour shift, whatever it ends up being. Get home, you know, Get yourself some comfy pants, and next thing you do is, all right, time to go do my chores on my online game for the next two hours before I make myself some dinner and then watch a show and go to bed. Right? Like that, it's, I don't know. There are some games, it's fun doing those things, the, the dailies that they have. Others, it literally just feels like a chore. Because I remember grinding reputation in World of Warcraft. That sucked. Like, some, some of it was good and interesting, some of it was just not interesting. Like, the rep quests were just so repetitive, so dull. We'll tear all this down once we're done. Once we have what we need. But for now, we're just going to make this absolutely ugly monstrosity. We're going to just make it too high for the moment. We can always make it taller. This tree's going to have to go. It's... It's ruining the aesthetic of a pure square building. We can't have that. We'll figure out where the door is later. For now, let's just put up all the walls. Now it's been, um, when you needed to do those dailies on, oh yeah, on all of your alts as well. Oh, good gracious. You have like, you have like four alts, like five characters total. Oh my goodness, it just sounds like an absolute slog. Ugh. You missed one? I did. Good call. Thank you. Good catch. Good catch.
I'm trying to get them all to do it on their own, but sometimes they're not flipping for me. I'm no novice, so I'm not going to leave them flipped the wrong way. Wait, was that... Literally perfect. Literally perfect. Ah, I love it when everything comes together. Alright, let's climb out of our base. Where do we want to be able to run in? Probably like right here where it's about ground level. Perfect. Go ahead and get our fancy archway. Oh. Uh, this door requires some twine, which we can make. Make a fancy arcane door. Uh, I can't make stairs. I can't even see there. I was like, I can't even see the stairs. All right, back to stone. Off we go. Boom. You're going to say, maybe you have a body vault, and you can use some of that loot. Oh, I gotcha. No, I appreciate it, but no, no. Well, we're going to go rebuild from scratch. It's one of the reasons why I like playing on official PvP servers, is the risk that you will lose it all. Uh, I guess it's not really a risk. The guarantee that you will... <laughs> <laughs> you will lose it all at some point. It's guaranteed to happen. You just don't know when. Panther, don't do it. Hold on, let me let me climb up this tree and cough and have some water real quick. Oh, much better. Nice. Perfect. Snap them on. Welcome to our abode. Still not enough for all the ceilings, ceiling tiles, because it's, we need a hundred of them. Since it is a 10 by 10 building, we can do some quick math. Don't look up, the ceilings are not going to be organized in the same direction. The wood paneling is not going to be the same. I know that's going to mess with some people, but it is what it is. But there's not enough support. Yeah, I know, I know. We'll get the support sorted later. We'll get like a nice little pillar or maybe some stairs instead. Don't worry, game. We'll sort it out. Oop. All right, what are we out of? We should probably get some more wood bar out here. All right, we just need to get this going so we can get a whole bunch of facilities running, get all the crafting stations cooking. And we can go on a little adventure. We have an hour and 20 minutes until the raid window ends. And we don't really have anything worth raiding right now. So, perfect. If we don't have the, the tools to raid anyone else. So hopefully we can just get this to the point where we're building all the tier 1 and tier 2 uh, craft. Well, I guess tier 2 crafting materials. Technically, we don't need to craft tier 1 materials. We just pick those off the ground. Um, we get all the tier 2 materials crafting that we need. Then we can go on an adventure to go pick up whatever else we want to pick up. Probably a couple more iron runs. We're going to need to do a brimstone run. We need to go and get a bunch of crystal. I want to go and get at least a little bit of demon blood, so we have some of that on hand. Uh, we're going to need to go and pick up, I think, four, three or four more sorcerer scrolls. Because we're going to need to go and finish up sorcery at some point here. But of course, we have to go and kill dragons. So that's not going to happen until we get ourselves back up to at least steel tools. Preferably hardened steel, if not all the way up, but... See what we can do. Is the blood trader still gone? Blood traders. Ooh. Oh, the blood crystal traders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all gone. It's over. Yeah, ever since the end of the age of sorcery, they are done. They are done. Which is good, because there's that was a serious like imbalance. It's just very, very broken. Yeah, no, removing that made a lot of sense. <laughs> made a lot of sense to remove that. The fact that, like, what you could do is you could start the game at early level, run over here, um, kill a blood, uh, kill one of the blood crystal uh, rock noses. Come over here, kill one over here. Uh, where's another one? Come over here and kill this one here. That's three. Run up to um, Mechamos' Aspire and then get 400 steel 
and then grind your level and have heal tools. Very broken. <laughs> Very ridiculous. Not well balanced at all. Not well balanced at all. So, removing that made a lot of sense. All right! We're enclosed, and we have a pillar in here. Chris. Okay, hang on. Is the skylight? Nah, we gotta, gotta enclose that. We can't have anyone climbing in the base. Can't have ruffians decide that this is gonna be a place they wanna hang out. Okay. Time to build our crafting stations. Let us begin. Two, three, four, five. We're gonna go five of every station, except like partisan tables. We'll just have like one of these. We don't need a lot of those. Uh, cooking, we really only need one. We'll just get this bit over here by the door. We're not cooking that much. Food. We don't need that much food. I want. I can't wait to make this hearth. It's gonna be awesome. All right. So next is the furnaces. Require a bunch of stone. So let's go ahead and grab our furnaces that we currently have. Grab some stone. Move everything over there. Get the legendary weapons and the blood picks. Yeah, I made life way too easy. It's gonna be a hearty hearth. Yeah. The hardiest of hearths. A gorgeous addition. What am I doing? Just pick up the whole thing. Give me the whole thing, please. Thank you. You also need some more stone. Probably should make ourselves a quick... A quick weapon here. Hold on. We'll still use this blacksmith, because this is a tier 2 blacksmith. This is a tier 2 tannery. We could use that, but it only makes it faster, not more efficient. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a weapon... Of the garbage iron variety. Here we go. To the square! Quickly! Perfect. Alright. Made the square. The d Oh my goodness, jeez. Is this terrifyingly dark? Yikes. Uh, let's get furnaces in the back. Uh, I think we'll just put blacksmiths over here. We're gonna need a bunch of iron for it. Actually, we don't have enough. We don't. We don't actually have enough. Let's get furnaces over here. Do full back wall furnaces. I oh, won't be able to get ten in. At least get our our five down. Five of every station. We can get more blacksmiths, uh, more furnaces down later. Please. Let's at least just get this started. One, two, three. No, wait. You two stick together. You, just, you split there. There we go. Get started. Get started. We'll go ahead and we'll jam these full of a lot more going forward, but for now we'll just get these guys started with what we have on hand. We do need to do another iron run if we want to keep this going. And we're going to have this guy in the corner do bricks, because we're going to need bricks for higher tier... We got a whole bunch of iron being produced, and we need a whole bunch of bricks. Uh, the large quantity of bricks isn't going to really happen for a bit. Jeez, we're starting to really clear out all the stone, aren't we? Goodness. In Kata, you're making 100 mil gold a day? Wait, what? Jeez, that's a lot of money. That is ridiculous. Oh, got a cat on us. Wait, I made the item, but I didn't actually... They... Did they pick it up? I didn't think it was. Alright. Are we any more formidable against this panther we can't see in the darkness? Ow. Alright, yeah, we, we, okay. we, can, we can kill it now that we've got... Oh my goodness. Or it'll kill us. Um... Oh. I forgot I have to dodge the opposite direction. Oh, there we go. Got him. We're gonna get some stringy meats from him, but, you know, I'll still take it. Food's food right now. Food is food. I will take it. What the? 
I don't know if we took damage there, but we were falling for a second. I don't know what that was about. Um, oh yeah, one thing I don't know is if our thrall... You know what? One thing I don't know is if our thrall uh, zone, or our thrall production space, our intern camp, is was raided as well. I actually have no clue. Yeah, we're close to the aloe scar. You're right, you're right. We could go to the aloe scar and pick up a bunch of aloe, but we need to go and run over to our other base for thralls. Once we can get ourselves a iron truncheon, I want to go over there and start getting some thralls training. Just so we can try and get, you know, some basic basic crafting thralls, maybe a combat thrall. Kind of get them online. I do want to upgrade that over there to a tier 2. But we now don't have the iron reinforcements required to upgrade it to a tier 2 uh, thrall wheel. So, not going to happen for a bit. Let's grab this over here. So I had all the alts uh, to the uh, gym so you could store gold. It was taking like five hours a day to realist stuff. Jeez. So, see, so you're just auction housing like crazy. Oh my goodness. Desmond Thrall? Yes. Water, make a water sack. Ooh, we do need to go pick up some water. We don't have. We're not right next to a, a river like we usually are. Usually, we end up building bases like near or right next. Like next to or on water. We're near it. It's, you know, a square away, but it's not, like, close. So I do want to get a Tier 2 Mitra Shrine online at some point here, just so we can go ahead and just make ourselves some nice, pretty water fountains. We'll pick up the iron. We gotta do that iron run. Kind of right now. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that iron run right now. Get our blacksmith set up first. One, two, three. Don't go through the wall. Don't go through the wall. Oh, three. Four and five. The game sounds really quiet to me. Is that just me? It's just me. Oh, I have my I have my audio at six, not at eight. I play games at eight percent. Although when playing Conan, I really should be at ten or twelve percent volume, so I can hear if we've got someone sneaking around behind us. Up off these branches, off the feral flesh. Let's get that cooked, so I've got some proper meal. Thank you. Yeah, I'm I'm very glad I'm feeling a whole lot better. Again, I'm, I'm not in tip-top shape. I still have a bit of a cough. I will be pausing throughout the stream here, uh, muting myself and coughing. But I am doing significantly better. Great. The iron in here. I don't need to carry it with me. We need to start getting some chests online. So let's just go ahead and get these started. I really would like tier 2 so we're not taking twice as much iron. But for right now, it's fine. Right now, it's fine. Speed is more important. Once we have the iron reinforcements we need, we can get going. And we can go grab that other one. Get that going as well. Uh, I don't have the wood I need. We're just going to leave branches in here to get burned. We have no use of basic branches. Right, now we have some extra food. So it's probably sated. It's more wood. Perfect. To be honest, dude, I'm glad you are back to streaming. You're suffering from uh, Conan watching with thralls. Oh man, I was suffering from not being able to play Conan. I mean, like, I could play Conan, but I only play games when I stream. You know? And, uh, and the main thing is, like, I just, I just need, I wanted to focus, like, fully on resting. And this game can get a little stressful. It can get your blood pressure a pumping, right? I, I didn't want to play this offline, and when playing this game, I gotta be talking. Are you kidding me? There's so much to talk about in this game. So much to talk about with what we're doing. 
All right, we got a good couple thousand. Ideally, we have... Actually, let's just go until we have 5,000 wood. Then we can get 1,000 in... One full stack in each of the tables. Carpentry benches. And get ourselves just an absolute pile. Because it's, what, 10 per? So it'll be 500 shaped wood. Until we get the upgrade. And then it's 25% more efficient. So then it's 7 per. Because it's uh, rounded. I cannot wait until we get better tools. So that we can get a higher efficiency yield. I just wanted to sit behind you and talk for you. <laughs> I mean, it could work. That'd be weird, though. Could work. Conan getting stressful? No, yeah, no. No, Conan ne never... There's not a single moment it gets stressful. What are you talking about? Raiding. Combat with someone while you're running around with a whole bunch of loot in your pockets. Yeah, no, no. No, no such thing. Zelda, or at least you had time to think about what you're, uh, what you've been talking about for years. It's true, yes. I was sitting down and I was thinking, I was like, you know what? We're gonna get back on this, and we're gonna, like, we, we need to get more efficient. I need to get a lot more efficient when it comes to us doing these big building projects. I can't just have one blacksmith making one iron reinforcement at a time. I am, I, I can't believe I keep doing that. It's an aesthetic thing. It looks nice and pretty in the base. But if we're going to be building the base and we haven't built it yet and we're going to tear down everything outside... Wow, I've got myself 6k. Whoops. That's fine. We'll take the 6k. That's fine. We'll keep the extra wood for later. I really... We, we gotta build faster. Fastest way to do that is going to be a whole lot more of these stations. Maybe a 10 by 10 is actually too big. It's a lot of space. You take a stack, and you take a stack. I mean, we're not going to need too much shape wood. Well, actually, we will, because we're going to need it for the building of the walls as well. As we start building out the castle. I will leave the rest of the wood and branches in here for now. Actually, we really just need to get a chest going. Give me these ion reinforcements. And just need some shape wood. Got to stall for a minute. <laughs> we'll get at that all mine. Uh, let's see. Artisan table. We need a tanner's table. Perfect tanner's table. We only need one. We don't need that many. One is fine. I'll have you go ahead and make me... Fiber? I don't need that much twine right now. Let's just go grab fiber so I don't have to go and collect fiber. That'll be good. Uh, let's see, what other instructions, whatever things do we need? Uh, we need, we need to get our tanning tables online. I think we're only going to need three tanning tables. I don't think, don't think we need to go with five. Five seems a little overkill. Stephen Attenborough narrating Zelda streams would be awesome. That would be amazing. All right, hold on. I'm going to need a, I'm going to need a cough, have a quick sip of tea, then I'll try my best. You know, give me a, give me a moment here. I'll just pick up some bark. Hold on. It'll be amazing. Here we go on Conan Exiles. I'm looking at the majestic rhino. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Let me let me try. Let me try. Uh, tanning tables. Where do I want to stick these? Let me put them on this wall. Why not? How's about we put five here? You know what? We don't need to put them like that. We can actually just we can we can uh, line them up. Tanning tables are easy. We, they're they're straight. We can just straight across. We can just blam. And, oh, come on. Damn. Five across. Perfect. Wonderful. We'll just get one going for now. It's fine. Or Aussie Man reviews. Oh my goodness. That might be a little too exciting. I mean, granted, whenever we're like floundering around in combat, I'm sure his his would be awesome. Ian, honey. I could try. I don't know. I haven't tried black rose tea with honey before. We could, we could give it a try. Give it a try. Let's get some boxes. Storage boxes. Right, boxes. Just jam them in the center here. The two general chests. Lock them. 
Uh, we'll need one smelting chest. And we'll need one tools and whatnot chest. Perfect. That are not uh, not one make them all work. We don't. Really, I don't want to go and split them apart, uh, and have them all work super efficiently because we're not going to kill anything else and actually take advantage of it. There's still going to be a lot of downtime. We're going to sit there doing nothing for quite a bit. So I don't see the benefits in spending that time. Let's go ahead and empty our inventory. Let's take our shredded roast. We need to go and do iron. So we're going to go do an iron run real quick here. We need to go get more iron. I probably should make some armor at some point. We'll sort that out later. We can go make ourselves basic robes. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay. Down we go. Need to drive until we're in a straight line then i can auto run have some tea shot anchor bench here is there anything else that's useful here not really i already checked those there's nothing in them all right off we go yeah oh yeah uh we'll get some hide we need some hide for that we can get that going and just so thanks for the follow i appreciate that i still don't know why the follower thing isn't popping up streamlabs is not recognizing when someone follows. It's recognizing everything else, just not follows. I've not figured out why. I don't know. Still still a mystery. Okay. Out of running along. Get our shredded roast. Let's get some bandages in here. Three bandages. Got that sit. Perfect. All right, where, where was it? Where was the, where was the rhino thing? Ah, here it is. Here we are on Conan Exiles. Look at this majestic rhino. Let's not get too close to him. He gets a bit aggro. Indeed, he does. Indeed, he does. Here, here we see. Here we see a scorpion out in its natural environment, searching for its prey. The rains have not fallen in quite some time, and so land is parched, and the animals are hiding. Right? Right? Go touch. <laughs> Here we see a scorpion. I'm gonna go and touch it. Right? Gotta get. Uh, no, we need. Um, what is it? Uh, was crocodile Dundee? For, uh, this, this gator over here is doing doing its own thing. I'm gonna go and touch it. <laughs> here, <laughs> here we see the MMO addict in his natural habitat. Blinds closed, lights off, full screens. Who of them with the wiki? <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. Who of them with the wiki open? Uh, oh, or Steve Irwin. It's Steve Irwin. Yeah, yeah. Have away, crocodile. All right. Ugh. We we either need to get ourselves some followers ASAP, or we need to go and respec urgently because we're in an authority build, which is worthless. <laughs> we don't have followers. It's just, this is twenty points in in the uh, fifteen corruption that's being used for nothing. This could all be spent on 10 in vitality and 10 more in strength. Goodness. Right? Oh, that's right. Everyone would be more of that scorpion. <laughs> it's right pissed off. That's true. Right, let's go pick up all this iron. Let's go and murder. Well, let's murder them first to see if we can get some better tools. Uh, there might be a chance that they have something in steel that we can play with. But then we'll go ahead and pick up all this iron. We'll go from there. Doesn't look like anyone's built up there. We're going to have to do some scouting at some point, but right now we just need to get ourselves back on our feet. We can do scouting later. We can scoot around the. Oh, hold on. I forgot to go ahead and make myself the most basic set of. Huh. 
It's a tavern armor. Uh, the most basic set of armor. One piece of... Oh, I guess I didn't have enough for all of it. Okay, we can get gloves and pants. We can at least look moderately civilized. I'm just going to sew my pants while I'm fighting this guy here. Oh my goodness. My stamina, it hurts me so much. Lack of stamina just pains me. No end. I'm going to start his combat. And he's done. That's not helpful. Or paint. Uh, I will take your hides, though. Actually, I'm going to take... Do you want bones? Nah, nah, we need his hide. I'll take his hide. It's a man flesh as well. We need that hide. That might hook us up. Maybe. But... Let's see if we can do it on our own. Tanner tier 1. Tempting, but it's a tier 1, so... Thank goodness, it hurt. Ow. Man, usually I don't care about archers, but that actually stung quite a lot. Boom. Let's sort this out. Ouch. I'm not used to being so fragile. We need a dancer to fix. Yeah, we need a dancer. That's what we need. Yes, it's a whole bunch of iron, indeed. Oh, I totally whipped it. Awkward. What's your flanks? Me and me make oh, yeah. Thick as thieves. Wow, she's got a lot of uh, pause between her dialogue pieces. Holy jeez, she's got a lot of health. Anything useful? There's a bow in here. Some bricks in here. A balancing. What? There's a balance uh, thing? Also, wait. Is there any. Ah, oh, there's a. St oh, hold on. Is this iron? Steel? What is that? Steel spear. This is why we check. All right, let's go and swap out. I'm not a huge fan of the spear, but it is it is better than what we're playing with. Yeah, balanced weapon fitting. Look at that. Oh, we got a hanging breeze here. Nice. I like those. All right, so we should hit a little harder now, upgrading our weaponry. Although this is not a strength weapon, so we'll see how this goes. Oh yeah, this does so much more damage. <laughs> This does wildly more damage than the axe that we were playing with. Oh, nice. I will take uh, I'll take these. It's actually six. My my earrings will block an arrow for me. Stand in the back. Would really rather like a sword or something than this pokey spear, but they just can't be too. Hello. Burn. Wait, can I not hit him? Is he immune to damage? What? Get out of here, you demon. <laughs> okay. Alright. Fine, sure. You, know, you you do your thing over there, demon. It's, that's fine. You just become one with the fire. You can use the iron smooth at the wrinkles in her pants. Oh, thank goodness. It's been bugging me this whole time. I know people have been staring. This man doesn't iron his pants? Unbelievable. All right, we got a shield. A wooden turge. Like that. And swap that out. Nice. Slowly getting ourselves kitted through stealing equipment. Oh, now. Heavy attack, heavy attack, heavy attack. I can only do three. I can't do a full combo. Oh, hey, okay. chest piece. Bam. Fully clothed. Now we're talking. Now we're getting somewhere. Full scavenging mode. Oh, you know what would be kind of interesting? Definitely not going to do it this time. You know what would be interesting? Is doing a playthrough in which you, can, you can't use crafting stations. Or maybe, like, maybe you can't build your own crafting stations. That might be an interesting challenge. Like, you essentially have to scavenge most of your most of your early game loot. And then you have to go and, like, find a, a hollowed out base to go and use. 
be really interesting. And then essentially use, like, try and find a hollowed out base that has, like, fireball cauldrons so you can go ahead and make explosives and then just just do, like, a, a roaming nomadic lifestyle where you just, you, you don't have a base, you don't use chests. Let's see how long you can go. That'd be, maybe, that might be an interesting, like, Iron Man run. We'll keep it in our back pocket. That could, that could be fun. Oh my goodness, not Desert Fox. Desert Fox was on the server a long time ago. Oof, I remember Desert Fox. There was a huge beef going on. I think it was between Apnea and Desert Fox, actually. If I remember correctly. And it was like... The Apnea was going crazy trying to just hunt them all down. Yeah, essentially living off the land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spawn chests, enemy loot. Especially now that the loot table's been improved. It could be doable. It would be an interesting one to do. Definitely not this playthrough, though. We are focusing on the Purge. We want to make a beautiful castle. A really cool castle. I want to build a really cool castle. We need to get a bar and play with the, the tavern mechanic. Hello. Play with the tavern mechanic. I definitely want to keep playing with the tavern mechanic because we haven't really done anything with it. Like, at all. We built the structure. Now we got to fill it out and get the tavern keeper, which you can only get from the purge, apparently. And then, then we can go do, like, maybe some extra raiding or something. We did some raiding at the beginning of our playthrough, but then we got raided. But I, if I was more focused on building, we wouldn't have lost all those materials. We wouldn't have used them all. We had enough to build the majority of the workshop section of the castle. I was not focused. This time, I shall be focused. Also, it would have been nice if we just finished up sorcery, too. So let's grab the last, last bit of this iron. Let's head home. We'll be able to put... Mm, I was hoping it would be 1k per uh, furnace, but I don't think so. Nah, we don't quite have 1k for each. We're close! But not quite. Unless we want to go check our other location real quick. I mean, we're kind of there, and we do need to get Brimstone. Now, let's get the Iron Rolling. We need to get that going as quick as possible. The sooner we get the, um, the Iron Rolling, the sooner we can get the Steel Rolling, the sooner we can get the Steel Reinforcements going, the sooner we can get our base building. Gotta jump on it. Truly can't help getting sick. It's unfortunate I got sick, but... Can't help it. It happens a couple times a year. That's just the way of the world. Oh, it goes. Also, you need to get up 10 wheels on your second level in the base. Uh, the, the wheels of pain are just, they're so far away from any... I mean, really, we could... We could only really grab the, what, two people that spawn here at Drifter's Rest? There's, like, no one else to grab within the vicinity. There's no one else to grab here. So, I, I think we're better off instead just jumping back over here to our base. Hopefully it's intact. I haven't checked. I'm sure we can check. Maybe, maybe we can tell. Server, event log, as much time as possible. Or as much distance as possible. Uh, 21 days would still be enough time. Losing stability, loot bags, bubbles, tannery. Tannery. Bubbles, they, okay, so it is rated. It is rated. We had a tier 2 in this base here. We had a tier 1 in the other one. Same thing with the armor's bench. So yeah, it has been rated. It has been rated. Dang. Okay, well, our other base has been rated as well. So there's nothing over there. It's a good thing we checked. It's a good thing we checked. So now we know what to expect. Um, but the bubbles with oh geez. A sand beast. Ah, I got the other sand beast. <laughs> Sandstorm beast. Got them both? Uh oh. I don't have the stamina for this. No, I'm so dead. I don't have the stamina for this. Run! Well, let's crouch. Ooh. 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 One attack. 
Dodge it. Ugh. I have to stop sprinting from time to time. No. Alright, we're good. Woo! Look over our shoulder. Need a pop in bubbles? Yeah, we do. The thing is, I don't know. Uh, bubbles has least. Oh! Wait! Multi Neighbors is. At least I got a low level here. They're online. Hmm. Bubbles is level 17? How does that work? Oh, someone must have raided it. Uh, someone other than him must have raided it. Hold on. Well, okay, we can't we can't blame Bubbles. Bubbles went full scavenging mode. Totally understand that. Someone else broke the door down if that's the case. Level 17 is not high enough to be able to make explosives. You have to be level 35 to make explosives. You can't raid until you're level 35. So I can't blame Bubbles. Someone else raided us. I mean, you could just build a base with just 10 wheels and have them uh, instantly be available. True. True, true. I'm thinking instead I'd rather just go ahead and get a tier 2 uh, wheel going instead. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to go take a look at that. Let's go get our iron roll in first, and then let's take a look and see who actually raided it. it looks like Bubbles went full scavenge mode. So we can't be mad at Bubbles. You started back up. Oh, that's right. One of them is actually doing iron, so it's actually perfectly fine. We don't have the 1k per. Go ahead and leave the rest of this in here to be distributed later. Keep 1k on ourselves to build with. There's brick in here. Take this hanging torch. Razor, put that in the middle. All right, back. Go ahead and drop off food-related stuff. We'll probably squish that, to be honest. And we're just gonna put garbage in here. Bones. We need to get a dismantling bench online. Dismantling bench would be quite useful. So again, with you, we'll just have one of these running for right now until we can get more. We'll need to go and do a lot of hide and running. Go and grab a bunch of hides. Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some... Um... Hello? Nope. Weak Allopush is rolling. Uh, Wheel of Morality, turn, turn. <laughs> Alright, let's go see. Who who was it? Who actually raided us? So they went and went full scavenge mode, which is perfectly acceptable. I don't I don't bear a grudge against them. Whoa. Um It's one, two, three, four in one day. Jiggling summoned four gods in a day. That's kind of terrifying. There's War Without End, which is what we were told is the cheaters. That was that group. Look at how many gods went off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine gods were summoned on one day. Holy. Yeah. Jimmy came by and stole some stuff. There's even more. Holy. Here you go. Vortex with Gore. Gore raided us. Gore, I was just going to be friendly with you. Lost stability. Yeah. Gore raided us. Little wraps from Alchemist Bench. Large chest. Wait, from large chest? I must not have locked one of my chests. Wild. Oh, okay. Pull from furnaces, tannery. Let's see. Even Swift Steps stole stuff from us. Holy, wow. What? Yeah, these are three days apart. Oh, 
Oh, it's improved Aquaman. Damage. That's from this location. Okay, that's from this location. Vault was destroyed, so it looks like this guy. Squawk Chips. We know Squawk Chips was the one who did it, because they've got that base next to us. So they went ahead and hit us, and then Swiftfoot came by four hours later and found it destroyed and stole stuff, so we can't be mad at them. So it looks like it was Squawk Chips broke our base here, and it looks like... It's still improved, so it's still over here, it's improved. Decayed, so that means that they killed her. It's annoying. Armor bench. Beam padding. Wait, so who broke the other place? Was it Gore? Lesser Wheel of Pain. I can't quite tell who raided us. I'm not too sure. This is all stole out of things. These are all stole. Gunt killed our fighters. Here it is. Flotsam Doors. Okay, Gunt was the one who raided us. There it is. Hey, Gunt raided us. Oh, you know what? Our other base decayed. I didn't go over there and reset it. That's why. That's why all this stuff... Okay, okay. Alright. That's what it is. Our other, our other base over here is completely gone. Of course. It's been two weeks. It's completely decayed. It's gone. That makes sense. Okay. Cool. So Gunt was the one who raided us, though. Uh, at least the baby base. And Squawk Jibs was the clan that raided us here. It's good to know. How's it going, Stormy Snow? How are you doing today? Finally return to being IRL exiled? Yes. We're back online. Just dump that in here. And eh, we'll keep the stone. We still need to build some stuff. Uh, what do we need to build? We still need to build some stations here. What are we missing? We've got alchemy stuff we need to make at some point, but we're actually going to skip these basic alchemy ones. We're going to go straight to tier 2, because I, I have no desire to waste our alchemical ingredients, because they're actually kind of expensive. Uh, tier 2 here requires the iron reinforcements of the brick. Yeah, so we'll get that going. So we're going to have to go and rebuild our thrall encampments and grab people, unfortunately. A dismantling bench would be nice. We're gonna have to get insulated wood. Oof. I do that. Alright, so let's go get more wood. That seems to be the thing we're gonna need. Yeah, because we're pretty much done with those. They've all finished. We need them to run again. We're gonna need it for fuel as well, because we don't have coal in the area. We need that. Up and running. World building question. Okay. How do you decide how many wars a country country have engaged in? Like in the life of the country or at one time? A lot of herd combat. You hear combat. Don't do it. <laughs> The steel, this steel spear is such a find. You know, I think we have a whole bunch of yellow lotus. Let's let's go ahead and respec. No, no, yellow lotus doesn't respec us anymore. We need blood, so we need a fluid press. Um, definitely gonna need to get myself a skinning knife here at some point. We need a fluid press to do that. A grinder. Glass. Ugh, respecting is going to be a pain. Rhino head to be good for squishing. We'll just leave this in here for now. Back out. Actually, should have a, a building box, honestly. There should be a, a miscellaneous empty box and a building box. What's going to be our building box? We'll have this be the building box. Let's go move this. You are now our building materials box. Let's make it prominent and proud. 
all of our spare wood, stone, reinforced stuff, twine will go in here as well. We use this for all of our building materials. Perfect. How's it going, Twitchy? How are you doing today? Good to see you. Life of the country? Depends on the style of country. Is it militaristic? Is it a, um... Uh, a theologically run one? Like, how, it depends on, on the, uh, the story of the nation itself. At that point. Production Central? Yes! I'm getting better about it. We're going Production Central. Warmongering? How old is it? Stormy Snow, how old is it? How old is it? A warmongering nation will have a war at least one every generation. <clears throat> so, it'll have at least one every 15 years. If it's a warmongering, uh, well, maybe at least one every two generations to help repl replenish your population. Um, so, every 30 years. So, 700 years. So, somewhere between 20 and 40, uh, 20 and 40 wars is what I would say. So we're talking USA? Green, I'm totally not using the USA as an example that we end up in a war in every 10, 15 years. <laughs> um, the United States isn't warmongering. We just are... Um, we're, no, we're incredibly nosy neighbors. When you com uh, when you know, compared to the USA, you had rookie numbers? Yeah, no, it's... Uh, so I would say every 10, 10 15 years. Uh, since 1776, the United States has been in 103 wars. Is that including the ones we don't actually call wars, Stormy Snow? Because they weren't wars, wink? Or are we including those? I think that's important to know. Uh, like, for example, all of the... Um, st everything that we've done since the year 2000. Any of that involved? Those won't work. Those weren't wars. The United States hasn't been in a war in over 20 years. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, the United States seems to be the nanny of the world. Yeah, it's true. Kind of inherited it after World War II, to be honest. Um, this is the number of a list of wars the United States has been in. Okay, so yeah, all the all the new stuff doesn't count. Because <clears throat> uh, Congress never technically passed declaring war. So because our government didn't recognize it as a war... It's a conflict we happen to be involved in. But it wasn't a war. Gotta love the semantics, right? That's cheating? No, it's lazy. <laughs> it's not cheating, it's lazy. It's lazy is what it is. Congress couldn't come to an agreement that, you know what, we should probably declare war. And so we didn't, and we just ended up being there. And uh, don't, don't think about it too hard. Don't worry about it. War is money for all the contractors? Oh, yeah, are you kidding me? Well, we learned that in World War I. The United States learns... Like, this is the thing. The United States... If the United States kept its isolationist stance... Oh my goodness, the world would be completely different. It'd be crazy. Just to think... I, I, like, just thinking about how the world would be if the United States didn't get involved in World War I... Or two. Or both. Crazy to think about. Hello? <laughs> it got stuck there for a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly right. We, the United States is not at war with anyone in Europe at all. I don't know what you're talking about, Green. We don't have troops on the ground. Uh, Congress hasn't passed a, uh, a legislative thing saying that it is war. No, it's we're we're, we're um, just being capitalists at the most extreme, uh, lend leasing a ridiculous amount of old military hardware, allowing us to clear out our. Honestly, they're just buying our hand me downs, right? They're, we were gonna give them out, but now they're buying it. Thank goodness, so we get some money for it, right? It's a uh, that's 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 how the U.S. works. 
I mean, what was it? Uh, the UK. The UK finished paying their lend lease debts from World War II in 2001, 2003. Is that correct? Took them like 60 odd years to pay their lend lease debts. Can someone go look that up? I'm pretty confident on that number. This is this is how we operate. This is how we get our money. On average, the U.S. engages in war, uh, engages in 0.41 wars a year. Yeah, say it feels about right. That's one every one in about one and a half years, one and a third years. But wasn't it that the U.K. like recently, or recently, you know, twenty some years ago, paid off their lend lease debts? Ah, thank you, Fuzzy Wuzzy. December 31st of 2006, the final payment of 38.3 million US dollars or 42.5 million pounds um, due on December 31st. Repayment uh, having been deferred, the allowed five years and during the sixth year not allowed was made by the British on December 29th of 2006, the last working day of the year. So I was off. 2006. So yeah, it took them it took them 60 years to pay off their lend lease debts. This is how the United States makes money. This is why we continue to make equipment. This is why we keep making this is why people are like, why does the United States keep making all of these weapons? We already have we already have 4,000 of this new tank that none of them are even being used, and they're already starting on the next version, and those tanks are probably never ever gonna be used. It's like listen, listen. Someone else is going to need them. We'll lend them to them. And by lend, I mean we'll sell them because they're probably not coming back. And we'll get a bunch of money for it. More so than was, the uh, you know, it'll offset the cost of the R&D. Maybe we'll get a little more profit on our return after that as well. And our friends win a war. And this is why we spend so much on military. One of the many reasons why we spend so much on military. It's really, it's really interesting when you, when you stand and look at it. We, we are a capitalist nation to the extreme. Oh, is this going to make us money? Perfect. <laughs> cool. Done. Right, we need to get even more wood. We need to do a brimstone run so we can start getting some steel. I'm starting to struggle with how much we have to cut down. I would really like to go and cut down less trees and get more wood. Yeah. This is why the United States keeps making weapons. Yeah. While we're $34 trillion in debt? Yeah, exactly. Listen, debt is just money we haven't made yet. There's, there's nothing wrong with debt. Debt just, just it's just money we haven't made yet. It's, you know, we're, we're investing it. Oh, that was creepy. Nice for a second there. It's money we're making in the future that we're using today. That's all. Although it is kind of ridiculous how much debt we're in right now. And if you look at the uh, the United States history of um, getting out of debt, do you know what gets us out of debt? Wars. <laughs> if you if you look at a timeline of the United States getting out of debt and when wars were going on, they overlapped uh, suspiciously well. Uh, suspiciously well. Um, so, you know, just, it, the United States will just continue to keep racking up our massive debt until there's a, another huge conflict that involves everyone. Um, and then we'll be out of our debt. Bam! Solved. So, we just, it's, it, it's just something we don't have to worry about right now. I mean, I don't see why we can't just keep pushing the debt ceiling up infinitely. It seems to be what they're doing. The debt ceiling just keeps, like, we can't be in debt more than X. Well, this year we're going to make it go up. You know, this year we're gonna make it go up too. You know, you know what? We'll do it. We'll do it again and again and again and again. And again. I don't know. Yeah, we can. Just, I think they're just gonna infinitely push up the debt ceiling. I think it's. Just, I don't see a reason for it not to. You know, capitalism stupid. Oh yeah, capitalism is. Capitalism is the best worst system out there, or the worst best system? The worst best system. Yes, it's the worst best system. It is, it is of the objectively good systems out there, it is the worst of them.
Uh, meanwhile, communism is the best, worst system. Right? The worst, best system versus the best, worst system. It works really well, just not with humans. So it's actually, like, the worst. Which is why a little bit of both is actually, surprisingly, pretty good. It's pretty good. Where's your social security come from? Oh, that's a very that's a very socialist thing to do. But it works well with uh, capitalism, because capitalism keeps the economy going. If we have the population. Which we which we don't have. We're running out of people. Alright, so we've got um, that's burning, that's being worked on. We don't have iron reinforcements being produced. Let's go do that real quick. What else do we need to get done before we leave? Actually, the iron reinforcements, I'd rather just upgrade straight to up, uh, higher tier blacksmiths. No? Hmm. Well, because the problem is the moment the uh, the moment something can become corrupt, it will be. The moment something can be corrupt, it will be corrupt because it's humans running the system, right? Like that's that's how it works. Funnily enough, a species that managed to survive, you know, like a up to being the most dominant species on the planet, has to be self-centered. Weird how that works, right? We're self-centered in our nature because that's how it works. Self-centered in a group in a group nature. It's our tribe. Our tribe's the best. Everyone else is the worst, right? That's how it works. All right, that's running. Um, let's see, so what can we do? Let's go get some brimstone. Let's go and repair our pick. Let's go do a brimstone run. While we're over there, we can actually go and set up a... We wanna set up an outpost while we're over there. We should probably not do it at one of the ones that we only had a hundred and something we dropped in on. No branches, oh no. Whatever we're gonna do. All right, this one over here is going to be our dedicated building thing. So we'll leave branches in here. Repair. Repair. You don't need to repair the targe. It's fine. All right, let's go. We need brimstone. And I'm thinking maybe we go and take a look at setting up the crawl space. Maybe we could do that, yeah? We go do that. Get up the thrall. We're all section up and running. Get our intern camp rebuilt, yeah? We are going to need to bomb the snot out of this. There might be nothing in here. I'm expecting nothing to be in here. We just need like 100 explosives and we can do it. And that's not that hard to get. Now that we're going factory mode, it shouldn't be too tough to get. Oh yeah, no, I mean, this is again the whole thing. Corruption just undercuts everything. If humanity was unbelievably virtuous and every single person was looking out for everyone else, then those types of governmental bodies would work really, really, really well, and capitalism would be really bad. Again, it's the worst, best one. But the thing is, you have to work around human nature. Human nature isn't exactly the best. It really only takes a couple bad apples to ruin the entire stew. Makes the worst, it makes rotten jelly. Jam is awful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's essentially. Well, the thing is, we're also lazy. Think about it. Like, if you if you didn't have to do anything, and it, like everything that was mandatory in your life was done for you, you don't have to work, you don't have to do your laundry, you don't have to cook for yourself, you don't have to XYZ, you're only going to end up doing. One, maybe two of the things that you would normally be mandatory for you to do because you're bored and you want to like you start pursuing something you're interested in but like if you didn't have to do everything and every like you could have anything you wanted automated for you we'd automate more than 80 percent of what we do in our life because humans are lazy we're we're, we're designed that way you know yeah, people still want to do something, but, like, 
And you don't have to go and get groceries. You don't have to go and do laundry. You, like, you know, all your chores are sorted. You don't have to go to work. You can go and instead be an artist if you want to, right? You can go and do whatever you want. You humans who actually enjoy being completely lazy. There aren't, yeah, well, there are only some people that truly lay around. And that's really only a modern thing, too. Think about it. If we didn't have the internet and electricity, actually, just think about it. If we didn't have electricity, if we didn't have power, it would be so boring being completely lazy. What are you going to do? Lie in bed and stare at the wall all day? But you're gonna read you're gonna read the new book that comes out once every three years, right? Like uh, of the genre that you're interested in, right? Like you'd be so dull. The modern era is totally different, though. It's so different. You wanted to do everything for him so he could just spend all of his time playing games. Yeah. Now so that's the thing. Is it's like. You can do that in life. That's not a good way to live life. You don't drop demon blood, do you? I don't think you do. <laughs> you do no damage. Alright. Uh, another time. We'll be back. We'll go <laughs> I do no damage to this guy. We'll be back. I need us to respect before we fight him. He might drop some demon blood. I don't remember if he does. A lot of people actually want to work. They just want to do work that isn't soul-crushing, mind-numbing, and horribly underpaid. Yeah. I know that I'm probably going to work until uh, till I die. Just because, like, for, for me, looking at it, retiring just means no longer doing what you have to do, but doing what you want to do. Right? That's, that's how I look at it. This building is still here. It's been bombed, though. It's still here. Oh, oh, it's still got the, the fences set. Oh. The rhino in here. Still an elephant in here. Did people leave any goodies in here for us? Maybe. There's a locked chest in here. We are going to raid this. There might be something of value in there. What the? What are you doing up here? Yeah, we... This place has been raided already. We can go and clean it out. There might be some goodies in there. <clears throat> might be good. He told you one time he wanted you to work. Uh, so he could just play Rust. And rebuild a car that his dad drove when he was a kid. Oh my goodness, yeah. Nah, it will. Yeah, that's not good. Whoop. You have little inflation on why the United States has 2x inflation? Wait, what? I'm gonna read through that in a second here. Let me go clear out all these spiders. Or the wrong one. Oh, this stamina is going to get me killed, literally speaking. Oh, we got to respec. Once we're done here, we got to respec. This is bad. What are you saying? Um, inflation, yeah, inflation's bad, but also good. Like, a small bit of inflation means the economy is growing. Which is why the United States tries to keep about 2 to 3% inflation year over year. Damn, man, this little, this little level here is attacking like a bunch. Oh my goodness, he had one health left. <laughs> Goodness, he bled to death. Holy. Oh, take a drink. Stay on the back. Oh my goodness, spiders, please. Where'd you come from? Luckily, they struggle with this terrain. Golly. 
Uh, we get ichor from them. We get silk from them. There's nothing we need from these guys. Let's just grab this. Just iron and grab the brimstone. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Where are these spiders coming from? Well, when a mommy spider and a daddy spider love each other very much, they go to bed, and then the mommy spider eats the daddy spider alive. <laughs> the end. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Uh, spiders are crazy. Insects in, in general are crazy. It would suck to be a male insect. <clears throat> Your objective is be big and bold and beautiful, because they're often the more gorgeous of the of the insects. Uh, win whatever competition it is to copulate, and then be eaten by your mate. <laughs> Congratulations! What a prize! Yeah, it suck. All right, got all this iron while we're here because we're gonna need a lot more iron. Always need the iron. I think, actually, I think we're gonna skip an. Oh, jeez, hello. Scary spider in the wall. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, I did not want to aggro that guy. We're going to run out and run back. Good morning. How's it going, Isabit? Region today. Oh my god, it's still following me. Didn't want to run all the way out here and have to aggro the spiders, too. Oh my goodness, you are persistent. Uh oh, wow. I'm cornered. You guys fight each other? Thanks. Thanks much, appreciate it. Okay, no, no, no. You're supposed to fight each other, each, the other each other. Thank you. Coke, Coke, Coke. Hydrate, good call. Let them do that. We can take a quick break. Yeah, it's true. <clears throat> and uh, green, green's right on that one. We broke our promise. We said we weren't going to get any closer, but then we got closer. Oh yeah, our tune needs some water too. You're correct. Go away, you. Nope. Right, let's go grab the rest of this stuff and let's go and drink up. Yeah, no, it's true. Um, NATO promised not to get any closer and uh, didn't keep that promise. But you know, that's that's just that's that's just how that's how nations work. That's just that's how nations work. Ask France and uh, England about their history and, and their agreements uh, throughout time. That, that's how nations work. Ugh, creepy. Is that all of it? I think we got all of it. We want to get more? Not that much. Kind of want to go to the other one and grab more. We should probably go grab some more. Uh, under the cover of darkness. Promises of a few politicians doesn't equate to your promises? No, no, that's true. That's because the politicians decide what happens. And I would rebut with saying, but you were the one who voted a politician into power, but debatable on what country you're in. What state you're in. <laughs> Alright. Let us stay focused on our task. Okay. So we're going to run ourselves on over to the other location. We'll go ahead and pick up even more brimstone. Because we're going to need a lot. Got to get a lot of... 
steel run. I have to pour myself more tea here in a minute. But we're gonna go get ourselves some steel running. And then with that steel, we can then start making ourselves steel reinforcements en masse. And those steel reinforcements are gonna be critical. Because we're gonna we're just gonna go straight to building tier three again. We're not gonna be building tier two stuff. We're not gonna be doing any of that nonsense. We're going straight to tier three walls and whatnot. We're gonna build out our castle. It's gonna take quite some time to do. But with the big old factory that we have set up, it shouldn't take nearly as long as it usually does. Yeah. Ah, stormy snow, yeah. This is one of those things, unfortunately, I do know I, I do know more than the average American, not saying much, unfortunately, with this topic, about history. Unfortunately, is that is not a real bragging point now, is it? But I definitely still don't know enough history to be able to to enter any debates about history. I can only really do like general general history knowledge. As I was mentioning earlier about oh my goodness, look at all this. So I was mentioning earlier about uh, Britain repaying its uh, lend leases. I was off by what four years on my on my guess. Look at this place. Only nudes. Well, it means we can't go in there, huh? Feel free to use the stuff. Okay. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Oh. Cool. What a nice person. Not seeing anything of value here. Is this open? Nah, they locked it. A little setup they made. I like it. But there's nothing of value here for us, unfortunately. Oh, those are hostile. Why did he see those on hostile? Not sure why he did that, but he did. Uh, you know what? I honestly always forget about this cave right here. I, I, like, literally was forget about it. I can't even remember what's in it. Is this where the crocodiles are at? Is this the crocodile cave? Yeah, yeah this is a crocodile cave. But it's got brimstone. There's a crocodile boss in here, which we will definitely not be fighting. But we're just going to go and kill for some brimstone out of here. Hello, crocodiles. Don't mind me. I'm gone. Like the wind. Come out of here. Alright. Yeah, we're, we really need to go and get ourselves respect. I am just... I'm struggling with this. I am struggling with our stamina here. It hurts so much. is killing me. Yeah, so we don't need to put this on the map. It's nothing of real value to us, and unfortunately again, there's a limited number of markers that you can put on the map, so I really don't want to go and clutter it with stuff that isn't of pertinence. Uh, if it's not pertinent information, we'll leave it. Let it be. Let it lie. Wait! Oh, that's right, because they, since they blew it up, it didn't get decay all the way. I was like... It should be gone, but there it is. I'm assuming the majority of it's broken. I don't know why they... But yeah, we did have chests in there, so they did blow it up for the chests. Let's see if anything's left over. Check that out. Ah, uh, guys, might, might be a time to go and put the shelve that conversation. I'm feeling a little heat. Feeling a little heat coming off of that. Because this is a hot button topic these days. No heat? Okay, cool. I'm I'm only skimming, so if there is no heat, we're good to go. Who's this? Ah, oh. culty neighbors. Ow.
Ugh. Jump it. Stop eating me. Jeez, it's biting my legs off. All right. Now, all right. So actually, there's some stuff in here. Uh, and if we completely dismantle this, there's still some some benefit from it. We've now reset the timer on here. Oh my goodness! <laughs> the alcohol is still here. <laughs> oh my good gracious! They didn't break that. Oh, they must have been cheaters. There's no reason why you wouldn't break this chest. It's sitting right here. It takes one more explosive. Why would you not do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Well, the alcohol's still here. There you go. Uh, Left Emily, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I really appreciate that. Thanks for resubbing. Welcome back. That is amazing. The alcohol still survived. This is great. We needed to bring this back to base for our tavern. This this is just exclusively good news. This is this is just straight up great news. We got all of our alcohol back. I'm tempted to just scrap this base because I don't see much reason for us to have it at this point. And getting all the parts and pieces could be beneficial. I think we are going to scrap this. We'll come back and scrap it in a minute. Let's go check here and grab our. Uh, brimstone, see if there's anything of note that we care about. Uh, we don't have any enough iron. We could actually, no, let's, let's start burning some iron while we're here. Why not, right? Right? Oh, no, green. Come on. <gasps> Guys, jump on up here. Let's jump up here. Let's just do the... Let's build them up here, because I don't want it to be on ground level. Just make it at least inconvenient for people to check, right? Do that. Perfect. We can build a couple. Let's just get some... Let's get these three rolling. Let's get some iron burnt. I don't have any wood. We need some wood. Let's cut down a tree or two. Let's get some iron burning while we're doing this. Uh, I'm gonna need this. There we go. Yeah, I appreciate it if you guys would. Just, you know, we're here to chill. Here to chillax and watch me struggle, but I do appreciate seeing the fire you guys have. You know, like you, you care, it's important, right? Oh my good gracious, cheese! You exploded. You know, we don't see a lot of these trees in the game. Now I think about it, these trees are actually kind of rare. Huh. Alright, so we'll go ahead and we'll get these guys burning. We'll go and check the... We'll get the brimstone check to see if there's anyone in there. We'll get the iron rolling because we just need 50 iron bars, 50 twine, and... 100 wood? 100 stone? We'll just go from there. Then we can go ahead and get one. We'll have to re-enclose this base if we do that, though. I guess it'll all come down to how many we find. I really do... Oh, <laughs> get caught on that. I really do want to just build a Tier 2 here, but I think Green might be right. We might want to go and just build a handful of Tier 1s of the crawl wheels. Just a whole bunch of Tier 1s instead. Go ahead and drop you. Drop you. You, you. I'm hoping we don't run into PvP right now. I mean, granted, we're five minutes out from the raid window, which is great. So as soon as uh, in five minutes here, if we enclose a building, no one can get inside for the rest of the stream, which is great. This is excellent news. We like this. 
Oh, we don't have a truncheon. That's fine. We can we, we can make everything we need to. We still have a tannery over here. So we can we can go ahead and make the truncheon. Right now, all we gotta do is check it out and see who's in here. Who lives in this shady cave? No closer. Who's in here? Exile three, exile two, exile ones. Okay. No one special. My goodness, this is almost a one shot. So this is a one shot for you. Don't have a blacksmith here. That got broken. It wasn't supposed to be like this. So we'll have to go ahead and cut him up with an axe. We need to get all the hide we can. That hide is important. Good gracious, it's dark in here. Much better. Just this section. Once we get in here, we get the little light. All right, so we got, jeez, this guy's jumping for joy. He's an excited guy. Bonk. Blacksmith one, dancer one. We could use a dancer. We really could use a dancer. We're going to need him to get rid of corruption. Maybe we, maybe we grab that dancer. These are just exiles. Knock him down. Uh, you're in exile. Let's knock you down. Blacksmith one... You're not worth it. You don't speed up uh, blacksmith work anymore. That's been changed as of a while ago now. Uh, what about you? You're in exile. Bonk. Oh, it's getting nice. Perfect. <laughs> Actually, just what I needed. Tanner, smelter. We've got two dancers over there. Oops. I think we're going to go for the dancer one just because they're going to be quick for us to train. Dancer twos are stronger. I think we'll go for the dancer one now. Because right now we care about speed. Well, yeah, maybe we, maybe we leave her. We'll decide. This gives us time to decide if we want to go for a dancer one or a dancer two. I don't know what else is in here. An exile, an exile, a tanner, a priest, a mitra. Oh, there's nothing, nothing useful in here other than a dancer. All right, so yeah, just one dancer. That's all that's beneficial in here. Uh, we can go for the tier one, which we can train in, what, 20 minutes? Or we can go for the tier two. It takes her a little bit longer to train for a tier two, but it's not that bad. Who approaches? I think we go for the tier one. Let's go quicker. Oh, careful, careful. It's a spear. We can hit them both. These are all ladies. Uh, who's our target? Uh, the one on the left. Thing. Not you. It's a tanner. Not the safari one. All right, perfect. Hyperborean one is left. I'll be back in a minute here for you. I'll be right back, ma'am. I'll be right back. Oh, one one day you will green. I believe. All right, let's go ahead and grab these. Oh my goodness, I didn't see the whole layout, uh, the whole list above. Goodness, that is a lot of that's a lot of property, buddy. All right, off we go. Let's go and grab ourselves iron. Let's go and get ourselves a... We're going to have to enclose this back up. Perfect, we got plenty. I don't know, we're over encumbered. Whatever shall we do? Uh, Don't have enough... No, we got enough stone. Should be enough stone. Where, oh, where is my hammer? We're just going to rebuild this as is, I guess. We're not going to make it super pretty. We're just going to get the job done. That's what matters.
floor. Oh, we can't do that until we move that. That's fine. I'm thinking we just uh, move these things around down here and just have it set up down here. We're going to need more wood. Eh, we can borrow some wood from upstairs, yeah? Make life easy. Hydrate, you got it. Oh, I am out of tea. Uh-oh. Hold on. <laughs> I need to get myself some more tea. Hold on. Wood. Let's just grab a half stack from each of these guys. That'll give me plenty of wood to finish the build. Is that enough stone? Should be enough stone. Doesn't take much. It's the only one that's not built, but that's fine. It's not stopping us from putting a wall down. These will be, though. No? Oh, this one will be, though. Move you forward a smidgen. There we go. Right way, please. And feeling's done, and now we just need a door. Need some twine, which we can make that. Perfect. Done. Secured, and as of two minutes ago, the raid window has ended, and no one can get in this building until tomorrow. Table back a smidgen. All right. Now we're going to need a whole bunch of twine, so let's go get a bunch of that fiber. We're also going to need more wood. This. And, oh, we also need to get some bark here. We're going to need to get some leather. Crunching. Oh, there's some leather here. There go. This, there's that. They begin. Go ahead and build ourselves crafting station. Canyons. It takes steel. Torturer's bench takes steel to make an iron thing? Oof, okay. But I won't have to make a build path anyway. That's fine. We still need the leather. Leather still required for us to make the truncheon. Oh. Not in vain. Crafting stations, companions, the wheel requires fiber and stone. Let's see what we can get. Oh, we're also gonna need to build the um what we call it. How long is the raid window? The raid window is five hours. It is from six PM to to 11 p.m. Any, anyone good here? Just an exile and uh, standard blacksmith. Neither all that valuable. Ooh, shoes. Nice. I'll be taking those. The kite will take it. Can't put that bedroll down because it's our, <laughs> it's our only spawn point by home is still a bedroll. I can't do that. <laughs> Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. Let's eat up so we're full. Oh, we're paying attention. At least for the moment. All right, let's go get a bunch of fiber here. We have to do it the old-fashioned way, though. How much fiber is it per twine? Is it five or three? Three, we need 50, so we need, what, 150? It's not that bad. One thing I like about PvP servers is it's four times harvest rate. Get things quickly. We'll get inside and need to get myself some water. Or, uh, some tea, rather. Still half a thing of water left, so I'm actually going to get some of that real quick.
Okay. Alright, perfect. We are in. Let's go ahead and make our twine. Oh, we should have to. Yeah, we got plenty of stone now. We're just gonna shove. Can I not just shove this over here in the corner? Ah, it's because of the theme. Okay, that makes sense. Put this right here. I don't remember what used to be there. Oh, the furnace and the blacksmith used to be over here. Uh, we need uh, some sort of place to make food. Spin that around more. Man, they... I like this, but I don't like that it has the same footprint as the large campfire. We can't get it up close to stuff. It is obnoxious. I did use all my fiber like a dingus. I have to get more fiber. Whoopsies. I'm gonna get some gruel going. We're gonna need some more fiber. Easy fiber here. Fiber over there. Let's grab this fiber. It's fine. It's real quick. Grab this. All right. Wait, what? <laughs> I grabbed the one way over there, not the one I was standing in. We are stealthily picking up the fiber from the other one. All right. Pick Bala while we're here, too. I keep forgetting to get more tea. I am, like, holding back a, a cough right now. Oh, my goodness. Good gracious. Oh. Ew. Yeah, there are no moderators within this chat. We have we have no moderators in this chat. Just because everyone's really chill here. And, you know, there's, it's a really chill community. It's not really a need to. You know, like, er, like everyone who shows up... I, I, there are... You know, there are people that will pop in from time to time that are, like, crazy. But the thing is, they don't stick around. They stay around for, like, you know, not even a full stream. And then they're like, oh my goodness. This isn't what I'm looking for. And so we only really have like chill people here, so not much of a need. Not much of a need to moderate. Which is great. And the fact that we have such cool people here. Hey, you moderate yourselves, exactly, yeah. And we spell bad too. Thank goodness, left hand Luke, because I spell awful when I'm typing <laughs> I'm typing in Twitch. Whenever I'm watching anyone I'm typing to them, oh my goodness, my spelling is awful. And Alceris isn't here right now, but I will speak for Alceris in that, uh... Well, Zelda, your, your reading in Twitch isn't that great either. Thanks, Alceris, I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go ahead and get ourselves a binding. Turns out I actually didn't even get that set. I had everything I needed. Perfect, you and the truncheon, and let's go get ourselves a dancer. Tier one dancer, we'll have her in, I think it's 20 minutes, I think is what the new timer is for it. Yeah, it's true, words are hard. They're coming. Wow, didn't turn around at all. I gotta say, this is really cool. They just dropped loot bags when they died. I wonder how long the loot bags sit here, because that's actually quite nice. Grab the rest of these loot bags real quick here. Should be more loot bags if those guys are floating. All right, didn't we kill some people over here? Nah, we ran them all out. I don't know. We... Oh, we just didn't kill these guys. Sit down, mister. Oh, my stamina. Nope. Yeah. We're not going to skin them just because time. We will come back here and grab all this brimstone. This is what we came here for. Brimstone and a dancer. Alright. 
Perfect. Okay, so with all of this, we'll be able to make as much steel as we want to. We're not going to be limited on steel production for quite some time. Floating with what? We're going to have around 4,000 brimstone. It's, yeah, with the tier 2, it's one brimstone to one steel fire, one steel fire to one steel. So we can make 4,000 steel uh, once we leave this cave, once we've grabbed all the brimstone here. So this is going to be good. So then it's all going to come down to tar production. We're definitely going to need a bunch of tar. Hey, look, exactly 4,000. Perfect! We're going to have more than 4,000, then. We hit exactly the 4,000 mark. That's pretty funny. I thought there would be some brimstone there. I must have mined it earlier. We grabbed the stuff on the way out, we're done. Which I'm curious, uh, who are we dealing with right now? Wow, it's still relatively full right now. Luckily, it's predominantly lower levels, except for free lessons and the uh, the role players, which the role players have been spawning a lot of a lot of gods. Oh. Hi, boys. That light flickering was a little annoying. Nothing. Shouldn't have even picked that up. Ma'am, what'd you drop? Some hides? I'll take that. Alright. Let's get over here, pick up our stuff, and get up and go. Hello? You just hear combat. Wait, what? Has this been here the whole time and I've just not seen it? I bet it has. We've just got like a lotus burner in here. I'm actually gonna take that. The rest we can leave, but I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> the lotus burner golem chest piece? Are you kidding me? I'm taking that. I'm absolutely taking that. That's a crystal tier. That's tier three golem pieces. What do you? Why? What? Why would you just leave that lying around? What's wrong with you? All right, get her training. We're definitely not going to get the quick blip, unfortunately, but that's because it's brand new. All right, let's go and grab everything from here and uh, head back to the other base. Really don't need anything here. Definitely need all the alcohol for sure. We're going to take everything here. Actually, I might take that grinder. Eh, there's no real need. Okay. We're just going to leave this base empty. Leave this chest here if someone wants to go crazy and break it for some reason. We get to have for later. We need the grinder. We do, but we have, uh, we'll have enough brick made back at base by the time we get back there. Speaking of which, I almost completely forgot all of our iron up here. That would have been really embarrassing. Casually leave our furnaces with all of our iron up here. All right, cool. So we've now rebuilt our little structure. We've got one thrall at a time that we can uh, we can go ahead and train. Get a brand new intern. We're gonna get ourselves that dancer, which will be useful. So we'll come back in like 30, 40 minutes. She'll definitely be done in forty minutes. She should be done in thirty. But we'll come back whenever it's uh, convenient for us to. Pick her up, as well as anything else in the area we'd like to. Head out from there. Those. You. I don't wish it took the dismantling bench with me, but I'd rather leave that there. It would have been ironic. It would have been ironic if, <laughs> if we left all of our iron there. Because we're trying to do massive iron production. All right. We're auto swimming. Let me grab some tea. Hold on. Let me grab some tea. Pull myself some of the beer. I've been keeping very hydrated, too. I might have to take a quick break. I might have to take a quick, quick run from the computer here. Won't do that until we get back to base and we get things running, though. 
Broccoli for lunch is a bad idea. Ooh, how'd you, how did you make the broccoli? Did you eat it raw? Did you steam it? You boil it? Saute it? Fry it? I like broccoli. I'm a fan of it. Baked? Ooh. Nice oven baked. I like it. I'm a fan of broccoli. Good. Alright, so... We're slowly getting better gear. So that's great. Are these the same, or are these actually better? Same. Yeah, we're slowly getting some better gear here. Still wearing light armor, but... Getting some gear. Actually, now that we all have all this alcohol, we can actually take some of the alcohol that warms us up and use that, couldn't we? We could do that. We could take that and run off to the, um, the ice giants. I think that's going to be our plan. I think we're just about ready to do it. We come back with this run. This will let us go ahead and we can build our... Oh my goodness. Cersei, thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate that. Six months? You've got a brand new badge. Welcome back, Cersei. Uh, we can... Um... Oh, what was I saying? Distracted. Uh, we can run... Yeah, we, sh we should be able to get Steel Fire underway. We should be able to get Steel Fire underway. So we'll get Iron, Steel Fire, more Shaped Wood going, Iron Reinforcements. We need a lot more Iron Reinforcements. Actually, no, we should have enough Iron Reinforcements to build our Tier 2 Blacksmiths. So that'll make it a lot cheaper. We don't need that many iron reinforcements because we don't have a tier 4 blacksmith to convert iron reinforcements to steel ones efficiently. So we really only need maybe like 500, no more than. And that'll be for all the crafting tables and the like for, you know, the fireball cauldrons and what they were playing with. Actually, how much does it take for, for that one? Uh, go ahead and swap you out. Alchemy. Brick and iron. Okay. Yeah, we don't even need iron reinforcements for you. Okay. Nice. Hmm. Do you like baked broccoli, but you think cauliflower bakes better? Yeah, I don't really... I don't get cauliflower that often. Do you know... Okay. Is, cal are, are, is cauliflower and broccoli, like, related? They're essentially the same thing, but different. How related are those two? Also, there's not a single NPC here. Or they're invisible. Is that a player? You did a charged attack. No, it's not a player, okay. <laughs> they saw a charged attack. I'm not used to NPCs doing that. Yeah, they are the same. So what what is the difference? Other than the fact that one's green and one's white. Like what what actually creates the difference? I should also probably grab that Taskmaster at some point. I do like that the Tier 1 Taskmaster just always spawns there. It's just very convenient at early levels. Speed up the rate at which you get all your thralls. Now my tea's getting cold. Sad. Who put this foundation over here? Who built this little shack? Who is this? Who are you? Who built this thing? It's been blown up, that's for sure. Grr, the guy who raided us. Got nothing in it though. Nope, oh, awkward. Actually, you know what? That's that's actually really good. We're gonna get some proper meat. Some savory flesh out of that. Yeah, that was actually worth the bite. Been avoiding him, but that's that's better than this uh, junky shredded roast that we've got on hand. It's all cultivators of cabbage. Interesting. Okay. Wait, broccoli and cauliflower are cabbage derivatives, essentially? Wait, what? I 
Oh, body vault. Oh. You may not be as surprised to hear cauliflower and broccoli are closely related. They are both members of the same plant family and species, but are different variations of one another. The most commonly consumed broccoli plant is known as uh, Italica, while cauliflower is known as Bothritus. Bothritus. <laughs> honestly, that's it. Sounds like a person's name, like uh, from ancient times. Bothritus the third. Bothritus the third, keeper of the, I don't know, of the ancient peak. Dueler of giants. <laughs> uh, e eater of man flesh. Right? It's actually, I think it's Bothritus. And I'm looking at it again. Which I, it sounds even better, honestly. Bothritus sounds like an even better ancient warrior name. A descendant of the great Bothritus. Or Botritus? There's no H in there. This is just it's a B-O-T-R-Y. Bothritus. There's like four to eight plants that are all bred from the same family tree, which includes broccoli and cauliflower. Really? Like, those are the only two I've seen from that tree, so... Interesting. You get a little more. You get a little more. You get a little more. And you, sir, get a little more. You, sir, stop stopping and go ahead and just burn all that. I'll take what I need from you, thanks. Let's grab all this iron. And again, now we can be completely complacent about this building, because no one can actually break through this. We'll just make a little uh, airlock, and then no one can get in here. Easy peasy. Just like that. Alright, so we'll go ahead and grab all of these. Honestly, let's actually just pick them up. We'll probably only make three blacksmiths. I don't think we have enough iron reinforcements for more than three, but we'll go grab these. Let's see if smelting. Oh, we can only make two. What the? Hey. Give me that. What was that? This little... Oh, it's the, uh, the brick. We don't have enough brick. Bricks the problem. Uh, okay. All right, I understand that. Can I still get three in here? Definitely can. Yeah, I can get three. Yes, the brick. All right, cool. So we'll get more bricks soon. Uh, in the meantime, now it costs half as much. us to go ahead and make these. Actually, I think only really one on... Well, we should still have two on iron reinforcements, just for speed reasons. I'm going to need them for chests and the like. The rest of the iron, though, we will have uh, moving towards... Oh my goodness, all these bone arrows, jeez. Uh, we'll have the rest of the uh, iron move towards steel. So we are going to need more of these. Grab that. Grab me that stone back. We're going to need more of these. Some of these are going to be dedicated to steel production, and we're going to need more on... Huh? Oh, there we go. We're too high. Uh, we're going to need a couple of these on steel, and... Def well, we could do two on steel, keep one on bricks. Go ahead and put some more down here. A little space for two more. get two more on brick down here. Get brick production going. All right, we're actually gonna let's let's cut our wood burning. We we'll get all of our branches. We're gonna burn branches. I want to use uh, wood for our sheep wood. We want to keep wood. 
Make the stone as well. <clears throat> oh. Smoldery. Yeah, we're just going to take all the wood first, let them all smolder out on the last one they're running on, and then we'll swap them out. Yeah, I assume lettuce and cabbage are uh, related as well. It just makes sense to me. Right, so, these ones here are in charge of bricks. Alright, so you three are on brick duty. The rest of you are on iron duty. Still an hour and a half of burning with these, uh, with a half stack of branches. Plenty. Extra. And then we don't have anything for steel yet, but these two will be designated for steel. Get that going. Um, we need alchemy, just need iron, straight up iron, okay, we can pull iron, we'll have to stack here, uh, where do we want our alchemy at, put alchemy on this side, we can just reach over, we can also collect these, what, oh, brick. Put these in here. All right, two for now, I guess. That's fine. Just get a row on each of you, essentially. And then tar. get you started. We're gonna need to go and start doing some serious hide production. We need to get a lot more tar going. Perfect. This tar for you. Right. Steel is in production now. Again, so one to one, so that makes it nice and cheap for us. Alright, next is wood. We need more shaped wood, because shaped wood is actually produced and used for, or is actually needed for us making tier 3 materials, uh, the tier 3 building materials. That reinforced stone requires shaped wood, so we will need all of it. How's it going, Amphibembi? How are you doing today? Good to see you. Welcome back. Also different kinds of lettuce, too. Like Romaine versus Iceberg, for instance. Yeah, how many different varieties are there? I don't really go, like, looking into this stuff much. I'm kind of curious. What was that noise? That's a player. Well, we're past the raid window. They can't get in here, but there's a player outside right now. That's not good news. Uh, I'm going to need some wood, and I'm going to need some stone back. Get an airlock in here urgently. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Done. There are more than 26 different types of lettuce. Jeez. That is actually quite a lot. Way more than I was expecting. Alright, let's go ahead and clear out my inventory here. in here and get some proper food. Is the shape wood on me still? Dropped it. Compost going. 
place we can rot stuff. There's a player. I'm not going to go chase him right now. Now's not the time. we got to stay focused. But now we know there is a player that has found our, our base. So it's quite possible we'll be raided um, in the morning when we get back tomorrow. We just need to make sure we use every... We have to use all the material we possibly can before then. All the material we can. No talent. Nice. Alright, I do need insulated wood. I knew I knew the moment I heard that noise, I was like, that noise doesn't sound right. That noise doesn't sound like what I'm supposed to be hearing outside. My ears tuned in. Drop off everything I can. Oh, we actually can drop off everything. Perfect. All right, so we will keep the torch on us. Keep this on us. The basic skinning knife, sure, why not? All right, we actually have a decent amount of crystal on here. Good. Grab ourselves some good old steaks. All right, now we can explore out. So, wood is currently working. Stone and iron is working. We, what we need right now is we need to get our tannery online. Actually, I need some branches. Not enough. Do we have any spares lying around? i grab them all. Grab them all. It's okay. We can grab half of these. We go make ourselves a skinning knife. A skin knife, and then we can go right back to iron reinforcement production. That one anymore, and we'll hold this here. Right. Here we go. Now we got the airlock, we can go outside and Let's see. Yeah, they murdered this cat. Whoa, jeez. Yeah, that the rhino did. I'm curious who it was that came by and spotted our base. I not see any activity down there. I'm assuming not them. Hmm. Alright, we just need to get a bunch of tar rolling. So once we get a bunch of tar rolling, we'll do one more iron run, um, as well as another wood and stone run, and then I think we should be good to go. And we can go and run to the far north. If we do that, we can then run to the far north, and go and grab ourselves some higher tier... Actually, uh, if we were going to do that, we were planning on going and picking up stuff to be able to break star metal nodes. So we need to go and kill one or two of the giant snakes first. We want to do that. Skinning corpses. Drink. Back at it. Oh, not good. Oh my goodness, that was bad. Okay. And cat down. Oh, Panther. Oh, don't do that. Oh, that's not good. Dodge it. Oh, that's not good. He murdered. Ah, it's Aton. Also checked Atom's a good guy. Yeah. Hey. Good to see you again. How have you been? How's your base doing? Go ahead and grab all this. 
else while he's, while he's at it. Hope you're doing well. Are you guys still... I mean, it's been a couple of weeks. Are you guys still working on that tavern by the bridge? Or is that still in shambles? I don't know if he can hear us. I'm hoping he can. Alright, Green, we can talk about it offline. Not talking. Can you hear me? One of the nice things about Conan is you can see me talking. No? Darn. Oh. oh, someone died. That should be the other guy. This guy. He was the guy that we were talking to initially. Hmm. Yeah, go for it. Go for it, Storm Snow. Hey, how's it going? Is, did, did you guys rebuild the tavern? Because we first met at your tavern when uh, I mean it wasn't it wasn't working at the time. But have you finished rebuilding that? We have all the uh, the booze. I'm gonna give it to them if they're they're up for it. No, I haven't made a tavern yet. I mean, I've just I've started building it. It's the uh, big structure, the only real big structure over there behind the walls. I'm trying to set this up to fight the purge. But I collected a whole bunch of alcohol that I was going to bring to you a couple weeks ago, but then uh, I haven't played in a bit. I wasn't around. If you want, I can pass it to you. I still have it. Let's see if we'll take it. I want to be friendly with these guys. Oh yeah, let me go grab it real quick. It's the only thing that wasn't taking during the raid when they raided me. <laughs> but I still have it. Alright, let's go grab all of our alcohol. We can make our own and or find more later. That's fine. Where's the alcohol all at? Is it in here? Yeah. We'll probably keep a little bit of it. Just so we can go and do that run to the far north. Let's see here. Wine, pigeon liquor. Is any of this like this one's healing? We'll hold on to that. Berserking. We'll hold on to this. Stamina. We'll hold on to that. Some of these give bonuses. We'll hold on to the normal wine. We'll give them the rest. We'll hold on to a little. Oh, that's no good. How hard is it to get a barman? I've only done a tier one purge so far. 
Going into the sinkhole? Yeah, I'll take a look in a bit. I want to kind of finish building up. Uh, <laughs> my base is all kinds of ruin right now. If I get a spare barman, I'll bring it on by. Okay, yeah, so it's only in the cage of the purge, sounds like. Bummer. Yeah, I'm doing a whole lot better today, Cersei. It's been a, been a while getting my voice back. Will do, thank you. <laughs> they, what are they doing? Good luck, guys. Right, we we got to stay focused. There's so much work to do. We're building the big wall back here. Yeah, so this is this is eventually going to be our big build. We were working on it, but then we got decimated because I was offline for two weeks. Uh, between work trip and losing my voice. But we're setting up the purge for up here. Luckily, no one broke that, surprisingly. That's someone would. Yeah, so we've got the tavern over here, which is just the the upper floor here. I don't know if I really like the way I've got this set up, because to get between the floors, you have to go on the ramparts. We might have to redesign this a little bit. We'll see. But this is the bottom floor of the tavern. So we'll get the bar probably, like, maybe in this corner is where we put the bar. Right? We can set up all of our seating out here. I'm thinking maybe we put stairs up on the inside instead, or maybe we change the staircase to over here. Over here is going to be our... I'm thinking this is going to be our wizardy tower. So we'll put, like, golem stuff and wizard stuff. Yeah, I got sick. And I'm losing my voice. And then over here right now we have a treasury, which I'm surprised this has not been raided. When we got everything else raided, they just did not care about this. We still have our 700 gold worth of coins, so we can still do tier 1 purges. Which is nice. We have everything we need for this little box. But we are going to break this down, and this is where the castle's going. So the main castle's going to go right there. And then I'm thinking about having a tower of some kind right here. The tower feels good right here, because we can expand out a little further. Using a pick on the trees? Yeah, so you use a pick on trees to get bark. You peel off the bark with a pick on trees. Actually very similar to how they, how they do in real life. You have, to, you have to skin trees for bark. Uh, that's how a uh, cork for like uh, wine bottles. That's how you get the cork for wine bottles. They they cut off the bark. Crazy watching people do that. Ah, I understand green. But yeah, let's try and try and try and keep it cordial if we can. You know, we're just trying to have fun. But as, as I had mentioned earlier, I know more than the average American about history. That's not saying much. Um, and just a lot of people in general don't know too much about history. It's not really something that comes into you know your everyday, right? It's not a lot of need or reason to do that. Yeah, I'm barking up. I'm barking up the correct trees. Luckily, I'm you know, barking up the right tree. That's for sure. Uh, but history isn't, it's like, history just like with uh, chemistry, it's one of those things not a lot of people know extremely well, or know incorrectly, because it's so easy to get that, like, you know, TV shows and whatnot tell you, like, show you the wrong way that, it's like, that's not how science works. You know, there's, there's a lot of stuff out there. So. It is what it is. We try and be, you know, as long as we're cordial, and, you know, we don't push too hard. Because some people aren't ready to learn, some people are ready to learn. Now, it took it took a long time for me to be willing to admit I'm wrong, which is apparently, like, incredibly difficult to do. It took me years to figure out how to, like, admit when I'm wrong. Oh my goodness, it's so hard to admit when you're wrong. If you're, like, straight up wrong about something that you have a hard, like, hardcore belief on, 
It is so hard to admit when you're wrong. It is a skill. This is very tough. Why are we getting like, it's weird. Every now and then you see that we're like stuck in like combat looking at a direction. It's really bizarre. What's going on with that? I'm assuming that's part of like the combat update that happened for this game uh, with this this age or this chapter rather. I don't think it's fixed. It's weird. If you're trying, I mean, most people don't. I do. If you're trying to quickly ninja ninja um, harvest ninja farm something while you're under attack by a player or an animal, that would be very detrimental to your life. But I mean, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah. Yeah, now that makes sense. It's a, like it's a real pain point. All right, let's jump back in here. Let's get this rolling. So we've managed to keep friendly with the uh, Aito. Aito? How do you pronounce this? Aito? Aito? I don't know. I don't know how it's pronounced. Oh, these guys are online. That's This is the guy who raided us. Okay, so this guy and Culty Neighbors are the ones we need to keep an eye out for. Skagnar. We need to, tra we need to keep an eye out for him. Hmm. Did these guys finish up? They did. Not anymore. Keep working. More bricks. We need to get our hardened bricks going at some point, too. Which I guess we can have one of them do hardened bricks and the others just do standard bricks. That'd work. Alright, bricks are done. Alright, start stacking these bad boys in. We're gonna need so much more. We're gonna be close. Yikes, I thought we were gonna be closer than that. Okay. I'll just give all this in. It's fine. Drop off all the resin. Drop off. Important meats, and we'll drop off garbage meats. Oh, we need to get bone meal going. So actually, let's get some brick and some sticks. Brick, sticks. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a grinder because we are going to need one of them. And grinders are in general, right? Yeah. Let's put this grinder here. Yeah, that's fine right here. We keep the horn because I like the armor that requires horns, but all these fangs. That's all. Okay. I thought we were going to have more than that. All these fangs we can go ahead and turn into the bone meal. Uh, rhino hide, regular leather. Do we have anything else to leather up here? Or no. That's it. Bummer. Okay. Drop you off. Have you work on the thick stuff? We'll keep you on the thin stuff. And more branches. Drop the bricks back off. It's ourselves fibers, just so we don't have to deal with it ourselves. Nope, not artisan. Parents. Perfect. There we go. Done. Yeah, green. Let's let's just. Let's jump to something new. All the same. Someone someone has to step down for it to like otherwise it keeps escalating, yeah. Right, we need to go grab water and let's go do an iron run, because the iron should all be respawned. Actually, we can go repair our weapon or uh, pick. Pick's struggling right now. Pick is struggling. Let's get this back online. Actually, we might be able to do steel at this point. Uh, how much steel fire have we made? We made plenty. Get the steel fire furnace is online. This is gonna be good. 
Let's go split this in two. Oh, I need more. You know what I need? I need more sticks. Uh, we'll go ahead and steal these branches. It'd be so nice if there was some coal around. Actually, isn't there coal on the other side of the... Isn't, isn't there coal on the other side of where all the spiders are that spider boss is? We can go over there. We can go grab that coal. That'd be good. Then let's go and split these guys. There and there. All right. Still, we still don't have quite enough to take advantage of all of it, but at least we can now get into the steel. So we're finally in the steel age. Let's go get ourselves a steel pick and everything else. I, I kind of don't want to go on that run, honestly. Um, oh my goodness, Green! Thank you so much. I appreciate you doing that. I'm passing it to Stormers now. I hope. I hope we can. By bygones be bygones. Yeah? But thank you for that. I really appreciate it. We play Conan Exiles for two, <laughs> four weeks all right now. Catch up on the last stream time. Yeah, I do want I do want to be focusing on Conan Exiles. I think we're gonna play Conan Exiles all this week, at the very least, because th we have a goal. We gotta go and fight the purge and we gotta get a bar online. Those are the two big things. I wanna at least at least fight a tier five purge and win and have a full bar set up with our building. Uh, the building we're probably going to we're probably going to let this place be the spot that gets raided, and we're going to leave all of the doors open on the castle and everything until we're ready for it to not be raided, or ready and willing for it to actually be raided, right? Um, but I do want I, we're going to play Conan Exiles at least this whole week, at the very least the four days this week. We lost out on two weeks, and it kind of kicked us back. So today is just really just catch up day. I didn't even hit space. Weird. We just started climbing. That's... Sure. Alright. Um, but yeah, so I really do want to focus on getting Conan going. So we're going to play Conan this whole week. At least. I don't know if we'll do next week, but at least this week. Um, but as soon as we're back on the normal schedule, we'll be playing... Uh, we'll be playing some good old Sid Meier's Pirates. We do weekends too. I'm going to try, but we'll see. Because there's a birthday party on Saturday I have to go to. I've got a birthday party on Saturday, so I don't know if I'll be able to stream on Saturday. Um, and then maybe Sunday. Might be able to do Sunday. Might be able to do Sunday. Let's get more bark. Won't do it. Let's try to find us. I managed to knock it knocked over. It's good. Oh, we need to get that grass online. I need to get water, too. Let's just swap over to this. Do some damage. And we do need to continue to get these guys, so it's it's still worth fighting them. They're, they're being obnoxious and attacking us. Some more branches. We still need... I want to get a full stack of bark in each one, to be honest. I don't really want to do that. I really want... Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. It's a, I, don't, I don't want to add something like that to the channel because it could be used. Yeah. We're bleeding. We can't can't climb when we bleed. Oh, we're so close to dead here. What did I get for reading chat at the wrong time? <laughs> Should have healed first. Reading chat at the wrong time. My bad. Yep. Luckily, we're not far from our death point. Yeah, I do need to get more channel point stuff going, though, because they're like, some people have a lot of channel points. You almost have half a million channel points, Stormy Snow. That is insane. Yeah, you can set it up for a max number of redemptions, true, true, but I don't know what kind of redemptions I want to go for. My poor, my poor body. Although... Oh my goodness, my legs are over here. I can still use the hide and the bones. <laughs> it's like, I'll be using those. Thank you very much. 
Yeah, I can't wait until we get better. We need to get better armor going too. To be honest, that's that's going to be something we really need to focus on. Uh, and we do have rhinos here, so I don't know why I'm worried. Like we can just make all the rhino hide stuff we need. We just wouldn't be able to make the uh, kombujin headpiece, yeah. If I don't, if I'm gonna have to pull up a thick hide that's currently being turned into leather. Oh, oh my goodness, it does so much damage. This is what, again, the, the fact that we're, oh my, oh my good gracious. Uh, the fact that we have corruption and we're in a follower build as opposed to a, a co like a proper us fighting combat build. We're not supposed to be fighting. We're supposed to have thralls doing all this work for us. tried to hit six i instead hit five <laughs> yeah we just can't fight we need to i'm bad with spears too i've got like almost no experience in this game with spears i'm abysmal hello <laughs> i'm abysmal with fighting with spears uh yeah we need to go and get our axes going Okay, let's get let's go ahead and let's get ourselves sorted. I've been I've been postponing working on our person for a while. Let's get armor. Let's go ahead and respec into something that's actually viable uh, in the current situation that we have right now because we just don't have any combat thralls to work with. Nope, come on. Nope, I hit grab. I hit the pickup button. There we go. Uh, and let's get ourselves sorted here. We gotta get this done. I love spears. Spears are really good. I just have zero practice with them. And then there's also the new combat system for it, which makes this tough. You stay outside, mister. You stay right there. Right, goodbye. Gracious. Good grief. Alright. We'll grab our steel. We have enough steel now to go ahead and make some stuff. This is good. So let's go drop some steel in here. We're gonna need some... Oh, like, say, 50 shape wood. This is good. Bam! Um... Have a few more Twitch integrated games to use channel points? That's not a bad idea. That would definitely work. That'd be good. Uh, let's see here. We need a... Uh, let's see. So we definitely want to go and get new tools. So let's go ahead and get weapons. Actually, no. We can go with steel. Hold on. With steel, we can get... Um, we can get a pickaxe. Oh, I haven't learned it. Really? Why? I guess we skipped that through... Uh, get that pickaxe. Where's the pickaxe? I always just type it in too, if I don't want to do it this way. There it is. Pickaxe. Alright. Pick. Pickaxe. Some leather. Oh, that doesn't take shaped wood. Weird. I'm going to take all this hide out. Some leather. Uh, we need to stretch this hide out. Harvest container, tanner's table. Stop doing that. Do that instead. Then after, uh, let's get all that, and we'll go ahead and we'll make some proper armor here. We need some proper armor. Axe. Make me an axe. Uh, then after the axe, you can go. And make me. We need a weapon. Do we have a? Do we have? I don't think I learned any steel weapons. Actually, I don't think I learned a single steel weapon, did I? No, we just skipped. <laughs> we skipped steel. That's what I'd rather do. Hmm. Yeah, because I was just scavenging the whole time. Go ahead and grab this. One. Bam. Alright, so we don't need either of these guys. So that frees up more inventory space, which is great. Means we can now run around with our... Right? So we can go and inspect people if we run past them. Run past their bases. Good. 
It's my iron in here. It's not supposed to be in here. Then, uh, branches. Branches just kind of go anywhere we find space for them, honestly. Uh, wood we'll just leave here for now. I don't think we need to go and make more insulated wood, or more shape wood. Actually, we need insulated wood. Now that, now that I say that accidentally out loud, we need insulated wood. We absolutely need to make some insulated wood so we can get a dismantling bench online, which will be beneficial. That's definitely something we need. Uh, we'll put one here. Go. Full stack of wood. We'll just have one run this. That should be plenty. We're not going to be building anything long term out of it. It's just going to be for a couple of items. That should be fine. Did I leave shape wood in here? I did. Perfect. The rest of the shape wood in here. Anything else? Building materials and curing? Nope. Pop that guy off there and do that. Get this green. Green, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, but let's let's try and let's try and bring down the temperatures. Feel feels a little warm in here. Feels a little warm in here. Let's bring bring down the heat. He's off. But thank you. I really appreciate that, Green. I do, I do. All done. Thank you. Thank you for doing so. Let us focus on chilling. Some chillaxing. Yeah, and you know, if, if it doesn't work, no point in chatting with each other, right? Sometimes the best thing to do is walk away, right? Right? I mean, that's one of the big things. Oh my goodness, all this thick hide in here. That's convenient. Actually, all this bone, too. Mm, grind all that up. Sometimes it's the best thing to do. Just walk away. Oftentimes, it's not much actually gets done when you're, like, in the middle of things. All right, let's get this dropped off, get this dropped off, pick up this hide. All right, so now we need to go ahead and build ourselves an improved bench. An improved armor bench. What does that take again? 50 steel and 150 stone. Ooh, do we have 50 steel? We build soon. We do. Perfect. 50 steel, 150... Uh, I said stone. I meant brick. 150 brick. Oh, yes. Thank you. And we'll jam... This is. This doesn't have to go with anything else. We'll just jam this over here in, like, the solo bench area. All right, what do we need for our medium padding? Wine, leather, excellent. Wine, done, and leather. You got it, Sarah. It is done. It is done. We need tar. It's tar here. There. So we're just going to keep running these two as much as we can. Oh, please, thank you. We're going to keep the steel going. We'll get more uh, fireball cauldrons going, but that won't be until we have more tar production going. We need to move some more iron over here. We can do now. We definitely do need to do a new iron run. We're down to one third in each of these guys. That one still has quite a bit. Split it. Drop it. Excellent. Okay, the resin... What is resin used for? Resin's used for shaped wood. So we'll take this out and we'll use this on... These two over here we'll use for shaped... Uh, not shaped wood. Insulated wood. So we'll use these two for insulated wood. And then the rest of this can be used for the hardened brick. That will be neat. Oh my please. <laughs> Open! Open! Okay. We've got plenty of... Re yeah, we've got so much of this now. We can make more shaped wood if we really want to, but I don't think we need to right now. We can just continue to stockpile standard wood for the moment. Uh, and I actually do want to leave the twine. Honestly, that's kind of nice. Goes off. All right. Now we're really cooking with gas. Making some serious progress. Okay. Is anyone running low on things? We're running kind of low on stone. We're running kind of 
a little bit low on iron. Oh, uh, this is still fine. This is actually going to start running low soon, but we still probably have like 40 minutes or so on that, so that's fine. Um, we just need to get more tar. Tar and iron is our next next goal for him. We can start looking at steel reinforcements soon. <laughs> I know, look at me trying to figure out how to go crafting faster. We're definitely going faster than normal green, but I'm still like, how do we how do we do the next thing? What's the next thing we do? Uh, so let's go ahead and let's let's remove you from from iron reinforcements, and that's going to be your job going forward. It's iron reinforcements. We get this guy on steel, but we have such little steel production right now. I don't know how much we can do. Let's get a few steel reinforcements started. So I'm definitely going to need more fireball cauldrons, which requires more brick and more iron. Yeah, so we're going to have to go and get more brick. Brick's going to be a big one. Iron. So I just pulled all the iron out and stuck it all in here. After each of these. See if I can get another two. Um, we need to get more tar. Tar's next. <laughs> your head's starting to spin with me spinning around so much. I don't blame you. All right, we need. Okay, I need to go and get ourselves sorted so we can go ahead and kill those guys. Oh, I forgot to get the the actual leather. We need to be able to go and actually kill the animals outside so we can properly fill up our tar production. Okay, medium armor is on the way. And a steel weapon, we're gonna have to pick one. We don't have a lot of points left, which is why I've been trying to avoid having to buy one, but we, we do need to get a steel weapon. What are we going to play with? Um, we can go with mace, we can go with axe. We can probably go with an axe. Well, actually a mace would be better, wouldn't it? Dealing with rhinos, because they have such strong hide. They have sunder. I think the sunder is a better call. I'm not sure. All right, here. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. I've been drinking way too much tea. I'll be right back. Hold on. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Okay. How's it going, Dax Daxton? Welcome back. Good to see you. How have you been? Up you off. All right, so now we've got... I think we have plenty of iron reinforcements at this point to get what we need done. We're going to tier two. So let's actually... Let's cut that. We can make more when we need it. We need this iron to make steel. We gotta make more steel. We need so much more steel. Like, we, we gotta get that done. Alright, we're running low on tar. Get tar going. It's down the tar. Alright, there we go. These should be done. 
Uh, Kombujan armor, we can just make our basic set, except I don't think we can make the headpiece yet. The horns, I don't think we have the horns we need. We can go grab those. There's actually plenty of animals outside that we can take advantage of for that. But I think, yeah, we have what, two horns? That's not enough. Fine, I'll have to go grab those. You think it's worth uh, to do the blacksmith journeyman to unlock the perfected steel weapons? It is. Definitely is. I should have done them, but uh, I didn't. What am I missing? I'm missing the pants. Pants. It actually would have been better to do the weapons. Wait, did I unlock it? I didn't. Actually, might, we might be able to do that journey real quick. Smith. I have to get. I have to run and gather brimstone. Ah, that's a bummer. Airball cauldron. Use tar. Yeah, I have to gather brimstone if I want to do that. They would be better though. We could use another brimstone run. Wouldn't hurt. They would be better. They would be better tools. It's true. Yeah, I think we probably should do it. I think you're right. We at least have ourselves uh, geared up a little bit better now. Yeah, just a quick run to the Executioner's Cave. Yeah, we'll go to Executioner's Cave because it's the closest one. As opposed to Sinner's Refuge. But before we do that, let's go ahead and let's, let's sort this out. This has been just the lack of our ability to run has been hurting me. The fact that we're so slow is hurting me a lot right now. Let's get this sorted. Oh my goodness. Did I move all my twine in here? Where did I, where did I put my twine? I thought I had twine here. No? You, you make twine. I, what? Oh, did I put it all in here? Yeah, I did put it all in here. <laughs> yes, I did. Of course I did! Go ahead and we'll put the press... I don't know where we're going to put Let's put the press over here. Alright. Good. Do we have any human? Yeah, we still have some human flesh left. Actually, let's take all the human flesh that's left in here. Press all that blood. Go ahead and drop all this back off in here. Uh, this we can go ahead and drop off of you. Car rolling. Drop these guys off. Go. Uh, let's see. So we need that. We need to get glass. We have crystal. We just need the smelter. So we're going to need to go get a glass... Is cast a table. We need some wood, iron. Put the cast a table over here. We need that iron. We can mold. Do I have any actual glass, or do I just have to break my crystal down? Rather not, but put it in this one over here. A higher priority than stone, so makes that easy. All right, let's grab this iron. Oh, it's not. Oh, yeah, it's done. Actually, we kind of need two molds, don't we? Because of the way the game works, uh, you actually need two molds. Otherwise, you can't queue a whole bunch of glass. It'll get confused. This iron here is for just producing more stations. Okay. We can move to the improved tanneries soon, but we don't even, like, they're not strained. The basic tanneries aren't strained in their production speed, so we'll leave them as is. Until we have all five of them running at full speed, they, we don't have to worry about it. But let's take a look. Where are we at with our insulated wood? What's going on with the dried wood here? Slow and steady. We could get more, but I think that's fine. It's just for a dismantling table. We're not going to use the... Insulated wood for literally anything else. Okay. What else do we need? We've got 
bone meal, we got blood, glass flask. Is, is that it? I think that's it. I think that's all we need. Alright, so we got our molds. Oh, we got our glass. Do we want to just... Yeah, let's just burn all the crystal. Let's just make all that crystal into glass. That's fine. We'll go to Hanuman's Grotto and we'll go sort out glass later. Speaking of which... Actually, wait. Hold on. I'm going to need that crystal. Wait. Wait a second. Give me that. How much crystal do I need for my sorcery table? 50. I'm glad we grabbed that. Do 300 stones. Let's crunch everything here. And then 50 iron. 50 out from here. Perfect. And you take another 5 crystal, which you have enough of, and another 20 iron. Hold on a second, because what we can do... Unfortunately, we're going to have to get a new Tome of Kurak. That's fine, we're not going to be using that anytime soon. But let's go ahead and let's dismantle the old base. I think it's finally time. I think it's time. Time to bring it down. Lay it to rest. Take the parts and pieces that we can. Go. Alright. Gone. Nice and cleared. Good gracious, that gives us a lot of stuff. It's a lot of iron reinforcements out of that. Wasn't that tier 3 material, though? Or was that tier 2? It, must, it had to have been tier 2. For some reason, I thought it was tier 3. Nah, I'm pretty confident it was tier 2. Now I'm thinking about it, looking back at it. The, yeah, yeah, it was tier, yeah, I think you're right. Okay, I was like, wait a second, where are, my, where are my steel reinforcements? You don't get steel reinforcements from that. What are you talking about, buddy? Good. It topped off. You haven't topped off like that. It's five and a half hours. It's great. Just need more bark. More and more and more. Okay. So, we now have the glass that we need. Flasks. We now have the blood that we need. We have the bone meal that we need. Now we just need the... Got these back. Oop. Uh, now we just need to go to alchemy. There's also an improved table. I feel like the table should be over here. Move this grinder. Feels like it should be with the fireball cauldrons. Grinder back. Nope. Oh. Goes back off. All right, now we, we can go ahead and get ourselves properly specced here. Holy, uh, not you. Which one? Diamond, purple, reaver, bestial. There it is. Wait, what? Oh, it doesn't take bone meal. Uh, okay, the knowledge one is bone meal. Okay. We just need the yellow lotus, which I think we have two in here. Got more than that. Okay, finally. Oh. Not just glass. We need to have water in it. Do a quick run to the to the stream. Would be the time to go get iron as well. You can still use more iron. Still need so much more steel production. So much more steel. Actually, 
You. Give me your horns. I need to make a helmet. And I really could use that anyway. We need, we need all of the hides that we can get. We need to make a lot more tar. Tar is going to be our limiting factor right now. Not have enough. I don't see how you can actually see anything right now. It's pitch black. It's dark, but I can see enough around me. Uh, it's only because of the thing that they added in the Age of Sorcery, where there's like the little uh, space of light next to you, like around you, that I'm able to see. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to see anything. This game's crazy dark at night. I know some people will just go and like up the gamma on their computer, but that doesn't seem like, you know, it, it ruins the aesthetic. Also, it kind of messes with you guys as well. Right? Because that's, that's what I see, not what's being recorded. <laughs> so, it'll still be dark for you even if I do that. Yeah, so let's go ahead and... I guess we'll go do the brimstone and iron run together. We'll just do a massive run for all of that. After we get ourselves set up. And then we can come back and make the... Perfected steel tools, or perfected steel weapon, rather, and that'll give us what we need to be able to finally fight these guys. We're already going to be taking a lot less damage, and once we upgrade ourselves to being a strength build, and not having all this corruption on us, it's going to help. Once we get our dancer, then we don't have to worry about corruption going forward, but... <laughs> you fixed it, you upped the game on your computer? Perfect. <laughs> that works, too. All right, we made it. Drop off you. Make me the thing. Four more antlers, we can go run out and go grab those if we feel it's urgent. The rest of those guys. This, up in here. And drink the potion. Oh my goodness. Alright. Attributes. First things first, expertise to full. Uh, with a careful harvest so we can get... Or efficient? No, careful. The rare resources. Because that way we get like crystal and the like. And beast of burden. Uh, grit will take five. None in authority. And completely max out vitality. A fast healer this time. But for punishment. We'll get at least 10 points in strength. We take Combo Master. These last five. We could go for backstab for extra damage when we hit people from behind. Or we can just get more stamina. Or we can go for Berserk. Berserk's pretty good. Let's go for Berserk. Alright. Frank build. Now we just have to deal with this uh, unbelievably awful eruption, which we can't really deal with right now. Well, actually, our dancer's probably done. This would be a good thing to do. You gotta hear Cersei? Alright, sleep well. Thanks for hanging out. See you when we're playing more of this tomorrow. Actually, so let's, let's make that run. Let's make that run. Go pick up the brimstone. Go grab our dancer. And our dancer will be able to remove all of our corruption. So then we can actually move at full speed, full stamina, have all of our health, actually be prepped and ready to get some work done. Be good. No, man. But for the journey here, what do we need to do? Craft steel fire, bar. We do have to make a weapon now. Steel weapon. That's unfortunate. We'll still have to learn a weapon. We can then forget it all and just redo the um, the knowledge if we want. But yeah, let's go get this steel smith done. Because then just forever, if we end up getting sent back to the Stone Age again, we can at least get up to steel tools without any issues. 
your uh your super blue eyes are light sensitive yeah what is it it's isn't it blue eyes are sensitive to to bright lights and brown eyes are sensitive to glare is, is that what it was someone's gonna have to check me on that I think, I think that's what it is. That's why it's like, ye northerners out in the snow are good to go, no problems. Green eyes? Well, I don't know. I have no idea on green eyes. Green eyes, the worst of both worlds. <laughs> Super light sensitive and glare. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe my guess, though. Your eyes do not filter out blue light properly? Wait, how does that work? How does that work? So if it doesn't filter out blue light properly, does that mean, like, you don't see the blue light? Or it's not filtered out, so you see too much blue? Like, this is the hard part when it comes to colors, right? This is a tough one with colors, is no one can see exactly what you see, but you can point out the same stuff that everyone else points out. <laughs> right? So... I can point at something and say that's blue, and it's like, it looks like what green is to you. But we both agree that the thing that we're pointing at is called blue. That's why colors are really interesting to me. Is that, for all we know, everyone sees colors entirely differently, and no one sees colors the same way. Like, it's entirely possible. Light blues makes your vision blurry. Oh, jeez. That's no good. Oh, my goodness. Still snippily over here. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and run ourselves over here to Sinner's Refuge. Get ourselves up and running. I'm still think I'm still leaning towards us going for a perfected axe. Actually, I don't think we get the. Do we get a perfected? Yeah, I don't think we get. Oh, we also get some steel fire bang. That's nice. I feel like we don't get a perfected mace. Could be wrong on that, but for some reason I feel like we don't. It's either that or I just always pick the axe. I am partial to axe combat because of the AOE that you get with it. It's really good. Who are you? An archer tier two. Hello. Oh, yeah, we do so much more damage with this iron with this iron weapon than we used to. Now that we're a strength proper strength build, An extra five, uh, ten points in strength rather. I'll take that. Bye. Did we get anything good? Nope. Oh, sorry. Start the auto run. There we go. Just nice report. Best. Now we didn't get anything good. Nothing useful. Eat. On rolling. Usually turn your monitor to the warm setting. Warm light filter. Um, the filter is a blue cool tone light out. But uh, Windows Nightlight setting does not have um, an always-on function. Ah, okay. So it's not always available. Flesh. Yog. That kind of makes sense. That not all uh, applications do. So your nightlight is on until 11.45. And it's supposed to turn back on at midnight. But Windows also resets it to uh, default all the time. Ah, oh, that's really annoying. So just like randomly it's on when it shouldn't be. That's annoying. Good old Windows and good old Windows updates. I swear, I like. You you'd think, with just how big of a company they are, like that, when Windows updates are released, they they don't mess with things as much as they do. And this table's huge. Well, this is a long. It is a table long. Okay, that does make sense. Oh, look at that table. I'm like, this thing's massive. Fortress workbench. If I had steel on me. 
or iron on me. We can do that. Bummer. Caravan Rhino. What a cool skin. Alright. Old home, sweet old home. Whenever, there it is. <laughs> Whenever it signs to load on in. For a second there, I got worried because we were like sprinting without using stamina. I thought we might have just dropped a little bed. Use new glasses with the light filter. Oh yeah, those are pretty cool. Hey, you get the uh, like computer glasses. Glasses for like when you're in front of a computer to help deal with the blue light. So it doesn't strain your eyes so much. Oh, over time the coating peels off. That sucks. Is that like a common thing? How long does it take for the coating to start falling off? And is it just like on its own or? Does it take some other kind of like input to cause it to start falling off? It's annoying. All right, we did it. We made it back. She's all done. Thank goodness. Let's get these in here to deconstruct. Throw down. Dance for me. Remove my corruption. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so nice. I've been corrupted this whole time. I mean, the corruption was important because of what we were doing. But. Yeah, no, we, we need to get this corruption sorted. This is why we get tier 1 dancers. They're really quick to grab. If you end up losing them, it's not that big of a deal. And they get rid of all our corruption. Because we are going to be doing more sorcery stuff. I do want to run around with sorcery armor. I want to do the purges in full sorcery armor. And weapons. The big old sorcery mace. That thing is amazing. I don't know if it's any good with the new combat, though. It might be absolute garbage. But I'd still like to try it. We are going to need to get our sorcery stuff done. I mean, the next level, I think, for sorcery is actually the... Uh, sorcery weapons, if I remember correctly. Pop that while we're here. Pop this off. Alright. Um, we're going to let you stay here for right now. We'll pick you up in a minute. I didn't bring my truncheon with me, so we might be in trouble. I actually need to get a truncheon. If we find someone good in here. We'll grab some brimstone real quick. Your last glasses took three months and started to chip off. Only three months? Wow. That's that's unfortunate. No closer. Honk. Honk. Uh, butcher knife. Nope. I need to be, I need to keep remembering to actually cut these guys up. Take all the hides, because we, we we badly need hide. We need hide very badly, and I just keep forgetting to grab it. Okay. Brimstone. Alright, completed. Make steel fire. I actually do that while we're over here if we want. We have a fireball culture and everything. We can, we can just do that real quick if we want to do that. Uh, who do we have here? Exile? Um, Hammer 2, Bonk. So the smelter actually could be beneficial. I'd like someone better. I'm not going to spend our time on these guys unless they're a little bit... Oh. Raider Exile 2. Don't you shoot me. Don't you do that. How dare you. Come here, you. Bam. His claws are actually good. Ooh! We got some spiced bread. Huge! Huge! Now we can go up to the, to the cold without any worries. Very nice. Well, we should also do the dismantling bench journey as well. We can get that improved dismantling bench so we can get more out of it. 
that we get to do. Who are you? Exile? Bonk? Supposed to be like this. And get you up. Carpenter 2 and an armor. Dancer 2, Dancer 1. No, I don't want any of these guys. What else we got? Smith. Ooh, a cook. Okay. We got a tier 4 cook. Let's go grab the tier 4 cook. don't hit the cook. It should be easy because they're very obvious. They wear completely different clothes. Yep. My guess we're so sturdy compared to how we were last time we were in here. Careful. Oh, I'm caught. Nope. Oh, let me out. Oh, jeez. What the? Oh, this isn't good. Okay. Well. So much for that. They got us just completely cornered. I, I, there's nothing we could do. He did it to himself. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. They shoved us in there and stun locked us hard enough that we couldn't actually make any attacks with the, like, the nice and measured attacks to hit only who we wanted to hit. So, unfortunately, that cook is gone. Oh well, so it goes. <laughs> he cooked his own goose. He did. He did cook his own goose. Too bad he didn't get to eat it. Alright. Eh, that's fine. We got the job done. That's all that really matters. Would have been nice to... Sir? Man, he is... He's trying to intimidate intimidate me from his afterlife. Good gracious. Just casually T-posing at a 90 degree angle to the ground. This guy. I will not let that stand. You will not intimidate me. Let's head on back. Let's head home. Grab a smidge in a bar. Let me get some of this work done here real quick. Ah, eh, no point. No point. I was thinking we could go ahead and try and get the journey done ahead of time, but there's not much of a point for that, just because by the time we get back there, we'll already have steel fire ready and we'll have enough steel to make tools. We'd have to go and get iron otherwise if we were going to grab it from here. All right, follow me. Don't die. would like to keep you in one piece. I think what we'll do is we might seal her up behind a wall in the cavern. We might just... I think we might just plaster her behind a wall, to be honest. Just to try and keep her around. Put her in a place where people shouldn't come by and attack her and kill her during raid window. Just to save us the hassle going forward. I think that'd be the best way to go. Just a little bit of that. Also, we're just going to keep running. I said keep running. Don't, don't you fight. Come on now. Don't you fight. Let's make me wonder what's in these vaults here. Makes me curious. It's just sitting there. There's probably a whole bunch of junk. Oh my goodness, the tier two. It's backwards. Oh my goodness, they put the walls on backwards. Oh my goodness, it's like putting your socks on inside out. How do you do that? You not just instantly feel it in your gut. Grab the iron on our way back here. Definitely need more iron. We're always going to need more iron. The 5 to 1 ratio that we're going to be dealing with from iron to steel. We need all the iron we can get. This is how this been I know, right? Oh my good gracious. Not only is it a square box of a structure, it's also backwards. Goodness. This person wear his shirts inside out and backwards as well? What's wrong with this guy? Oh. 
Too bad you can't refine iron from blood. That would be kind of cool. Like, sorcery lets you, like, convert, I don't know, a hundred blood to one iron ingot. Not super efficient, but something you could do with all the blood, because you just get... You get, you know, you end up picking up a lot of human flesh over time, and there's really not much to do with it other than compost it to be used for uh, farming, or to squeeze it to be used for blood, which you don't need that much blood. Most of it ends up being used in uh, high-level compost, <laughs> so it gets used for farming again as well. So it'd be kind of cool. Or iron powder. Um, and then it gets smelted into ingots. Yeah, iron powder. That would be kind of like... I would like more interactions between the different materials. That'd be cool. We should actually have her wearing this, by the way. Oh, this is normal bread. It's not even spice bread. It's just bread bread. Oh, okay. I'm a little disappointed. I got excited. I was like, oh my goodness. Spiced bread? Huge. Nope, it's, it's just actual, normal, nothing special bread bread. Couldn't... Wasn't bread made by putting leavening agent in a furnace? In a smelter and just smelting it? Probably take those. Don't you fight. Don't you do it. Oh, wow, she actually did a lot of damage to them, too. Don't you do it. Just keep them running. We get anything good out of that? Chunky torch. And, uh, bedroll. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. As I stopped sprinting. Mistakes were made. She almost died from that. She's still fighting. Don't you dare. Get over here. She's gonna die. Ah. Really? A tier one thrall camp? Man, I should have kept her in my pocket. I should have waited until we got home and then put her on the ground. I can't believe it. Also should have changed. I don't know why she was aggressive in fighting them. I thought by default they were always Remind on the yourself guard. that overconfidence is a slow and eh. insidious killer. Oh well. It's unfortunate, but at the very least, she removed all of her corruption, so... Bam. Mission accomplished. She removed all of our corruption, and we, we got the brimstone. <laughs> Not... Not what we wanted to do, but or at least it got part of what we wanted to do, right? Glitter died. <laughs> oh no! Now that's two of them now, right? So we've lost glitter and we've lost diamond. No, oh, no, we keep losing all of our all of our dancers. They keep just getting jumped in the back alley. what we get for not having bouncers. Oh, it was candy. Sorry, it was candy. Thank you. That's right. That's right. So we've now lost candy and glitter. You're right, it was candy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, candy was crushed. Eh. It's like a brand new game. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll, we'll, get, trans we'll get our transitory stones online at some point, and then it'll be easy for us to get all of our thralls. It's fine. We'll sort it out later. But for now, we need to get the car going. Oh, actually, you're, like, at capacity here. Let's keep you on one. Get you doing one. I'm gonna have to steal some of your bark for these other two. You get to work. You get to work. Alright, now we're making some progress here. Tanneries are now starting to real co start cooking with gas. A whole bunch more blood in here. I should have given her the armor, too, that I was carrying. I was carrying this armor, and I was thinking, I was like, oh, I'll just deck her out in that, because it would give her more, uh, more health. 
It's like the pants get 40 health and the chest piece get 40 health. That would have been a lot of health. An extra 80 health. We're gonna survive an extra like hit or two. Well, not anymore. Next dancer will need to be named Diamond. Yeah. Insulated wood. I need some more insulated wood. This will be the last that we need, and this will get us going on the dismantling bench. So we can get that bed boy going. All right, let's get the steel smith thing finished. After steel bar made. Oh, I've already. Oh, because I have a steel weapon in my hands. Oh, we get to cheat straight ahead because we have a steel weapon in our hands. Cool. All right, where's the dismantling? Dismantler. Dismantler. Uh, bone and a grinder. I don't have any bone on me. Oh, awkward. I've already ground all my bone. All right, we'll sort that out in a minute. All right, cool. So that's done. That means we can now look at our weapons. And we can look at steel weapons. Am I blind? What? Oh, I, that's right. You have to accept the claim reward. 50 steel fire. That's pretty big. Okay, now we can look at steel weapons. Break the steel axe. Okay, yeah, there is a there is a mix here. Let's go for the axe. That burning. Grab the steel. The axe. Go to smithing. What do we need for the anchor's bench? It's just wood and iron. Uh, we'll get a tinker bench over here, I guess. And we can do steel for. A basic weapon fitting. Oh, we don't have any oil. Nothing right now, then. The Eye of the Watcher, a good sword. I think it's a decent sword. Remember correctly? Dump all this in here. Where are we at with you? We got 12? Perfect. Bricks. Now I can make that dismantling bench. Do things in general? Yep, there it is. Alright. Finally, dismantling bench. Let's just move that away from the wall a little. Be close to the wall for my comfort. Oh. Alright. Let's go ahead and dismantle all this garbage. Go. You all from here. We can't do anything with you. And you get bone arrows so fast off of those guys. It's crazy how many you get. Go from here. All right. So we need to do bricks. We need to go get pick up more stone. Get more brick. We also need to do an iron run, too. We're out of iron. Oh, my goodness. So much maintenance. Steal up you. Okay. It's half the iron. Half the iron. Put that steel. Put that steel in here. What about my axe? We'll hold it as a backup. Go grab these and dismantle this. Worthless. Worthless. This and that. This and these. Don't care about those. Starting to really clear out our inventory here. This is good. Go ahead. Maybe the little trunch and watch we'll go and we'll stuff it in here in our build chest. So we know where to find it. 
You started replaying Sturdy Valley uh, with the extension mod from your stream. You're hooked again? Nice. Oh man, it's been so long. It's been four years since I played that game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm glad Rose suggested it. Okay. Bam. Sorted. Cut off and the rest will just kind of dump in this chest, I guess. At least for now. Okay, perfect. We're gonna, we need to get some lights in here. It's a little dark in here. Get the lever back in here. It's off here. Bricks will go in the build chest. Although shortly the bricks won't be used there. Shortly bricks are going to start being moved up to next tier. Alright, perfect. Clear our inventory. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we need to go get iron, we need to get stone. Golly, is it dark. Actually, at this point, we don't need this spear anymore, do we? Oh yeah, this is so much better. Oh my goodness, we, we do like actual decent damage now. Look at that. Now we can actually really start filling up our tannery. This is good. Oh yeah, we're going to skin all of them. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that's amazing. Taking them down in no time flat. Can't quite do a full combo on them. We can almost take them in a full combo. We're gonna need to upgrade our tools to steal all the way across the board. Definitely getting no money's worth now. Got that monstrosity, it's gonna be a sturdy boy. Yeah, they're sturdy boy indeed. Four more combos. Two more combos? Two more combos. Bleed's definitely helping a lot. Play and hide. Up here. I just need any hides we can get. Also horns. One more horn and we can get our helmet going. Get our full Kabujin set instead of relying on our earrings. Give us defense. Let's grab a whole bunch of iron. Let's grab a whole bunch of steel. Go from there. Bleed? Yeah. The axe gets a bleed effect. So you can see on the attack. So watch the... So it, it goes purple, red. And when it does that red, uh, that red slash, that's when it's applying a bleed effect. Oh my goodness, please. So it's regular heavy attack, regular heavy attack, bleed effect, bleed effect. Those are the colors. You watch this guy, you'll see the debuffs he gets. <laughs> he died too quickly. Uh, so the so actually, how it actually works is it's heavy attack is that that yellowy green or yellowy orange color. Is this color here, that one right there, that's just a regular attack, right? It's a regular heavy attack. So it's just indicating that's a heavy, as opposed to a light attack, right? Because light attacks have no no nothings, nothing there. So it just indicates, hey, it's a heavy attack. Then, it goes purple. Oh, hold on. Then, it goes purple. 
which is a cripple, and then red for bleed. Let's show the status bar. You can only see cripple. Uh, yeah, the bleed was happening very briefly. At least it should have been bleeding. I don't know if it can resist it. Alright, is there iron here? I feel like there should be. There isn't. Why do I feel like there's supposed to be iron here? I don't know. It's the second time I've done that. That's right, we know where the iron is over here. A little further out, but we'll be good to go. Yeah, we'll want to do a run to the uh, Iron Island as well at some point here. Their cell is just fully restocked. We're going to need a lot of iron, a lot of steel. We got a lot of shaped wood already cleaned up prepped and ready to go. So what we're going to need to do is actually start really getting on the hardened brick, because hardened brick is the most expensive. They're the, the largest quantity of stuff comes in the hardened brick. So we're definitely going to need to go and get the hardened brick rolling soon. Luckily, we've got a whole host of, of the uh, resin now. So we won't be short on resin anytime soon, which is good. We just need, and we have, actually, we've got a lot of the plant fiber, too. So we can actually just get one of our three fireball cauldrons, swap it over from steel production to the consolidate, stone consolidate, instead. We'll grab this, we'll grab that, and we'll go back. You don't think the axe stacks bleed like daggers? They haven't used them recently. They do put bleed. Uh, let's see if maybe this crocodile is sturdy enough to be able to get bled on. Nope. Not even close. Oh, don't forget. Need all of it. We're going to have to find a sturdier foe. Actually, let's go take out one of those snakes. Crank up first. Go take out one of those snakes. We need some demon blood. If we're going to play with, uh, if we're going to go ahead and get ourselves steel fire, we're going to need to get to that demon blood. So let's go ahead and take down a snake or two. Oh yeah, daggers you can get way more bleeding on. Yeah. Daggers you get, oh my goodness. Stop doing the, the thing where you keep staring in one direction. What is this? What are you doing? It's like mesmerized by the way that the, uh, the rocks crumble beneath his power. Power of our pickaxe. Can we take out a great snake? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, he keeps hitting us right when I'm about to do the bleed effect. That demon blood. Let's see if we can, instead of locking on, let's see if I can just get one the old fashioned way. There we go. There's a bleed. That's my bleed. You get a bleed effect on there. It's harder to stack it, though. It is harder to stack because it's on your uh, third and fourth strike in the combo. Uh, so you can, you can stack it all the way up. You have enough time to do so. But the hard part is... You know, most of these guys die before then. I can't really show it. This is not the best way to get demon blood, but it is a way to get demon blood. And we need some demon blood. Uh, but yeah, definitely daggers are more efficient. For sure if you're trying to bleed your targets. But the nice thing about axes is that I can bleed all of the foes around me instead of just one at a time. Which is really nice. 
Because the AoE. Because when he does the attack... See how the red goes all the way around his being? All the way around him? Every single person within range can get hit. And every single person within range can get uh, bled on. But daggers are a stab. So it's uh, a cone in front of you. As opposed to a full 360. Which is nice. Yeah, overtime stream. Yeah, we're a little over. I really shouldn't push myself too hard. Since I am still, uh... I'm straining my voice. I can feel it. I can feel the strain. I am straining my voice, so I... Shouldn't go too long, but I do definitely need to... I, I want to make sure we get our, our all of our iron going, and get some car production rolling, and... and make sure we have a little bit more stuff going on first. Oh my goodness, we just picked up 40... <laughs> Jeez, he just picked up 44 Lotus? Yikes, I had no idea you could pick it up with a pickaxe like that. That's a lot of Lotus. Holy. Yeah, daggers are definitely better for bosses. Yeah. I swear for better uh, multiple enemies. Yeah, I agreed. I do need more practice, though. I definitely need a lot more practice with just fighting. Who are you two, by the way? Are you guys just regular exiles, or... Something special? I think they're just exiles. Oh, Blacksmith! An exile. Yeah, we'll think on it. We might come back for that Blacksmith. DM me for one hour overtime? Probably not. Probably don't want to do an hour overtime. And I really don't want to push myself. The last thing I want to do is get an extra hour of stream time to then lose a follow like tomorrow's stream. Because I just don't have my voice. Because I talk a lot during work. I have to. During my job. So last thing I want to do is end up in a situation where I push myself a little too far for one stream and then end up having to recover the whole next day. It probably won't go a whole hour. But I want to, at the very least, get things set up to uh, produce in the meantime. I'll definitely have to go and stash our stuff, though. I'll have to stash our loot, because we're literally, what, two, like, one explosive jar from getting in? Why not train an AI on your voice, then? Well, then I'd have to type the whole time. It's going to be really hard to play a game and type at the same time. <laughs> Otherwise, not a bad idea. But having my eyes on the screen and my fingers on the action keys is going to be tough to do that while also typing. An intriguing idea, though. Oh, you meant for the job. Yeah, I, st I still talk way faster than I type. Same problem. It's also hard to present stuff when... Uh, it's kind of hard to present things like that, too. Run a meeting. You've got everyone in the, in the same room. And you're just over there in the corner typing. Oh! That's not good. Oh, that's that's very bad. Oh, that's like that's like really bad. We're like right outside the house. Oh no! We almost made it back! Oh, come on, game. Come on. The server's down. <laughs> oh, the server's down. I guess that's the end of the stream. <laughs> the server's down. Well, that sucks. That sucks a lot. I wanted to at least get all this stuff home. The server broke. Oh, yes, I blame hackers. I blame hackers too, I agree. Oh my goodness, the server's down. Well, I guess, I, guess, I mean, hey, you know what? We're supposed to end the stream right now anyway. So, um, I guess when I wake up in the morning, I'll jump online and hopefully we'll still have everything on us. Um, is there anything we can afford to lose? Yeah, we can we can afford to lose everything. Oh my goodness, I'm coughing. Uh, I can, we can afford to lose everything we have on us. 
We can afford to lose everything we have on us. It's fine. Because we have steel in production. We have enough on hand to rebuild our tools. We still have our old tools on hand. It's just unfortunate because it'll slow us down a bit. Uh, all right. We'll, we'll go ahead and we'll end the stream here then. Let's go ahead and end it here. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be playing more Conan Exiles. I'll jump on in the morning to see if I can go ahead and save our stuff. And then I will jump on right before raid window tomorrow to try and stash our loot, at least the important stuff, so that if people go ahead and just break in, which they can easily do, uh, they don't go and take the like the brimstone and the steel fire um, and the shaped wood. We'll go and try and stash that stuff. Is there a good place we can stash it? Jeez, I don't even know if we have a good place to stash it. I'll try and find something. I'll try and find something. But thanks for hanging out, everyone. I will see you all tomorrow for even more Conan Exiles. Have a good morning, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.